Hello everybody, welcome back on this beautiful Tuesday evening. We have an exciting matchup of all on our hands today. We have some NBA 2K action. It's going to be Kiyuka College taking on the Saints. And it's a best of three game. How are you feeling today, Daniel? I'm feeling jazzy. Uh, we got J-Sauce playing against it's Jazz Man here in the ECAC NBA 2K25 League. Uh, we don't really get to see too many sports games. I feel like of all the uh, underrepresented titles, I feel like they're the most represented Still underrepresented, though. I'm excited to give any team a chance to shine in the spotlight, and that's exactly what we're going to get to see here today as Sauce looking to break his tie right now with his opponent, Jazzmaz. They're both 3-2 to two right now in the ECAC League. Yeah, both 3-2, both have winning records, so someone is going to lose that today. Mm -hmm. Sauce, we were talking to him before the game. feels very confident. He will be using the Milwaukee Bucks today. Giannis Antetokounmpo, obviously one of the best players in the game. A very, very large human being. Takes up a lot of <laughs> space is going to be definitely looking to score a lot of points but it's going to be interesting how well he can use the players around him mm -hmm. uh, to use the These pawns. additional firepower next to a superstar so <laughs> yeah just we had a second there to take a look at the coach there jordan j sauce he's going to be the one playing today coach overseer founder whatever you want to call him of the sports team here at st Clair. uh he's kind of the one that got everything started up so i think it's very fitting that we get to see him playing today but one thing that we were talking talking to him about is his opponent today and this is someone he's not too familiar with in fact uh he hasn't even really gotten much of a chance to see them play so far um a couple of the games they had this season were forfeits so even then you you see the records you see the um success and the stats there's still a lot to be seen so far and he hasn't had a chance to play him yet uh, as well so this is kind of an unknown face anything can really happen today and again they're both tied so when you're going into a game not knowing what to expect, not really seeing whether or not your opponent is something to be fearful of or something that you think you can steamroll. That has a lot, and it messes with your head. It changes how you play. Ultimately, though, you want to make sure you keep that all under control, and you still want to play at 100%, but whether or not you're playing uh, really confident or a little bit more reserved, you have to figure that out as the game goes on, and that's a challenge you have to overcome. Yeah, absolutely, and it's going to be four quarters, five minutes mm -hmm. a quarters each, so... 20 minutes of in-game time with breaks and everything. Probably going to be a little bit longer, but this game, it's going to be a one possession at a time type of game. 2K mm -hmm. is not a game where you just kind of can blow up the game in a second. If the opponent can take their time, stay calm, they definitely have a chance of coming back from being down a big number. So I think composure, even if, you know, Jay Saz gets off to a really, really hot start, would like to see him try and keep that up, play good basketball and try not to make unforced mistakes. Yeah, and uh, speaking of, one thing that really comes into playing any sport, really, like you said, you want to make sure that you're playing disciplined. You don't want to overstretch your boundaries, play too confident. And of course, the other side of it is you want to play too meek. You don't want to play too reserved. If there's an opportunity, you want to take it. And I think that really is what separates a seasoned veteran versus like a more casual player. And then in fact, that actually is another thing I kind of talked to Jordan about what really separates the competitive NBA 2K25 player from like a more casual player. And one thing he kind of noted for me was he will take a lot more time to set up the court, set up the net for plays that his opponent really realistically can't do anything about. But uh, more casual players, they're probably just running down the net constantly, constantly, constantly. So I'm curious to see whether or not we're going to see him, like I said, play more cold and calculated, or maybe we are going to see some more aggression and uh, you know, just charging down the net, going for those dunks. I want to see someone stick their tongue oh, out and we'll some completely dunks. demolish somebody. I mean, the key matchup here is going to be LeBron against Giannis. As we are underway in game one, Gary Trent Jr. goes for the three ball there for the Bucks and is not going to be able to hit that one. Now on the fast break, Knicks, Carl Anthony Towns finds a duck, gives New York an early lead. Yeah, and right now we're seeing uh, Jordan. He's down one point already, setting up a play, looking to clear up the court. He wants to get himself a clear path towards the net. Oh, Finds a pass turnover. interception, unfortunately. That was a good turnover there by Mikhail Bridges. Now Jalen Brunson has that one-on-one, -on -one, takes the easy layup. It's a good start for Jazzman here as j Sauce. Couple of lackluster offensive sets. Now he's gonna look to get things back on track. It's gonna be Damian Lillard looking for the backdoor cut to Giannis. Very easy dunk there. Nice way to get on the board there. Four to two. That one turnover, unfortunately, kind of turning the momentum away from Jordan. Not able to. 
finally find his way back, but hopefully he can turn something here as he goes for that oh, stuff. Block. Finds it now. He's got a breakaway, clear, empty net. Gonna go for the pass, but a foul. Oh, he threw himself there. That was not a foul. Come on, ref. What was that? I mean, that was a charge. He got there just in time. Giannis, too big to slow down in time. <laughs> Wrecking ball. And there it goes. Nice try there from Giannis. Says there's gonna be a shot there and one. Or, and one foul there for Jalen Brunson. Great start to the game for him there. Looking to hit the free throw as well. It is in. Nice little five point lead to start off the game here for the Knicks. Yeah, so it seems that Jazzman is actually kind of surprising J Sauce here. Wasn't expecting so much competition out right. Like we said, a little bit of a mysterious figure in the ECAC league so far. Not a lot of records or game stats to go over. Not a lot to prepare for. We're seeing pass opening up, trying to clear through. He's got one on his right. The pick coming through, going for the three. Not going to find it, but potentially the rebound. No, it's going to be another turnover. And we're seeing New York taking this one straight down the court. Going for the dunk, finds it. We're looking 9-2 to two already. This is a little unbelievable. OG Ananobi with a nice cut there, and he gets the steal. A bit of sloppy play here from uh, Jay Sauce. Definitely going to have to turn it up a notch. Goes for the backdoor cuts, but those have not been working so far. Trying to give it back Ooh. to Giannis, but just sloppy play here from Jay Sauce. going to be Josh Hart on the fast break. Carl Anthony Towns goes for oh the layup. My God. But a nice block by Torian Prince. Giannis onto the Kumpo now. Going to have the ball onto the fast break here. So good on the fast break. So you're trying to have it. Use Giannis as a screener. Going to look for the mid-range. That's a green B. 9-4. It's Milwaukee get their second point of the game. Jordan absolutely needed that. If that was just another rebound and turning to a another offense for the Knicks. That really could have been devastating. 19 on the shot clock, a fast pass over to the right. JSOS playing the center, not letting his players make too many of their own decisions. It's gonna work out in his favor. Actually, oh. steal, but no, as he's trying to turn that, convert that into another one for himself. That's gonna be steal pass into another, into a dunk, 11 to four. JSOS really has to figure out how he wants to play this court if he wants to make something happen. I mean, New York, all their points have been in the paint and from the free throw line, finally a good backdoor cut there by Giannis. Easy two point pickups. We've seen JSOS try that time and time again. Sometimes it's not there and he just unleashes the pass. I think if he's just more patient with those backdoor cuts, he can definitely have an easier chance to victory. Now he's going to be playing off ball defense with Giannis here. Going to go under the screen. Jalen Brunson going to go up. There's going to be a foul call on Giannis. So two free throws for, for Jalen Brunson and he's pretty automatic from the free throw line. Now we are in another predicament. Yet another free throw for the Knicks, and that's another point on the board for them. Jay Sauce down six points. Can he find his way back in this game? Let's see. After another free throw, two. He's going to get that one at least and turn this into another rundown of the net. Finding his way down, looking for the shot, waiting patiently. His teammates trying to find an opening. Pick and roll is going to be the play. Not even going to opt to chase down the net. Going to go for the shot. Time is running down. He needs to let go of that ball. It was a hot potato and it was boiling over and another shot comes through. Thankfully he's not going to find his way in. We're seeing Sauce slowly finding his way back to this game. Yeah, he's trying to get some points on the board. Giannis easily going to find the layup there. Now only a four-point game. I mean, this defense from both sides has been pretty, pretty good so far. It's going to be Jalen Brunson at the top of the key. Gets a screen from Josh Hart. able to get around. Damian Lillard goes for the shot. Another foul on Giannis onto the Kumpo. As Jalen Brunson is doing a great job of drawing getting these fouled. fouls. Yeah, he's getting these free throws with relative ease. And I think Jay Sauce needs to make a little bit of an adjustment. He shouldn't let Jalen Brunson just get head on, pull <laughs> steam into the paint and he should maybe step up a little bit to be honest with that length can play defense at a relatively high level and on offense I would love to see Giannis used as the screener could just cut to the basket just like that get the easy layup 14-10 oh, game I really thought that was gonna roll for a second it feels like uh, it feels like Jasmine's been running with away with the game for quite a while now but when you look at the score line it's only 14 to 10 that's just two shot difference that JSOS needs to close the gap of hopefully it's not gonna get widened as unfortunately he's going for the charge down, finding nothing. JSOS running straight down, looking to close the gap with the dunk. 14 to 12. He's clawing his way back in the game. 40 seconds left in this first quarter. There's still plenty of time in this game to really shake things up. I think JSOS has really figured out Jasmine. Jasmine has not shot a single shot from outside the paint here. And he's going to keep driving to the paint. Ooh. Giannis going to easily <laughs> find that block. That's what JSOS was looking for. Toria Prince now has it on the fast break. Let's see what he decides to do here. Tries to 
to get Giannis for the pick and roll. The screen isn't too good. Giannis gonna get his way into the paint though, but that's gonna be off. Conte mm. Towns, the great defensive play now, 15 seconds left. Would like to see him hold it for the last shot of the quarter here, but he's gonna easily take those two points, take a four point lead. Bucks have 10 seconds to get a bucket here. Plenty of time. Let's see what kind of play Jason's gonna draw up. Damien Lillard gonna have a wide open three, but it's gonna be just off. And the first quarter ends 16 to 12 for the Knicks. Hey, I, I really like what I'm seeing so far from Jay Sauce. He definitely had a bit of a downside on that first quarter, but you saw him cleaning things up in the last like minute of it. The only thing I'm worried about was some of those plays looked a little desperate, and obviously you want to get aggressive, especially when time's running away from you, but when your plays are getting a little messy as a result. That's when you really want to pull back, make sure you're not doing anything uh, too crazy. As we get into the second quarter here, like I said, plenty of time for both of these players to run away with the game. It's just a four point deficit still. Jo Jordan has a lot of time left to work with, unless we're seeing Jazzman with another dunk. This gap is widening every second we go by. Hopefully, he can find his way to the net. Yeah, I think Jay Sauce definitely has an upper hand here. He has a wide open shot with Damian Lillard, but it just doesn't want to take it. And then gets Giannis into nice. the paint. That's easy layup, but Giannis needed that perfect timing there to get that one to drop. Jay Sauce just missing some easy shots here. And, you know, Knicks have only scored at the basket. I'd be surprised if Jay Sauce is playing really high up defense, going under the screens. It's not a bad call. Jalen Brunson can look for the pass into the middle. Center passes it out. A rough pass. Jalen Brunson is able to stay on top of that one. Now Giannis, great defense there, but Jalen Brunson is going to get his own offensive rebound now from three-point range. Jump shot will not come out. Trying to take Giannis head on. Bit of a dangerous play. Three-point wide open. Mikael Bridges hits that one. It's now a nine-point lead for the Knicks. Yeah, we're definitely seeing some of the uh, the defensive IQ really coming to play there. Number 44 kind of just not doing anything on the court for a second. And it really cost Jordan. And another takeaway is going straight towards the net, but stolen thankfully. And now he's going to go straight down. Zero passes to Giannis. Going forward the net, going to make a pass back. Everyone's scrambling. It's chaos on the court, faking the shot, trying to cross up, going for the three. And that's in. It's good. 21 to 15. Timeout though, really want to take some time to figure out what's going wrong, kind of take, give your players a chance to recover their stamina a little bit and uh, just recoup. Yeah, Jay Sauce finally getting something going on the offensive side there. Hits a three with Damian Lillard, but he's going to need a lot more of that to win this game as his opponent still getting into the paint with relative ease. I think when you pick a team like the Bucks, the paint is kind of the one area where you should dominate. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be getting beat there. So I think Jay Sauce has the right squad to win this game. Just going to need to step up his game a little bit. One thing I, I, I'll admit. It looked really funny to me seeing 44 just kind of like running into his teammate. <laughs> and I, one thing that Jordan was telling me about was the fact that different players just have different levels of expertise when you're not controlling them. They know what to do and some players have less skill in that regard. And I think uh, that might be something that's playing a factor in whether or not his team is having success on these defenses, which seems to be the only thing he's really struggling with. As you see, again, another breakaway into a dunk. These are just so common in this game. You can't afford to have these things happening over and over again. He has to clean up that defense if he wants a chance to bring it back. He finds the shots. He finds the dunks himself, but he's letting these uh, shots get too any too frequently. He's finding a nice three, however. He just has to, like I said, clean up that three backs again. Yeah, these pick and rolls from the Knicks have been deadly, but we're going to see both bench units in the game now. It's definitely the Knicks who have the advantage. You can see the big man is just nobody who can guard him. Yet another easy shot you can see in the field goals Knicks shooting 10 of 16 bucks 8 of 14 so Knicks getting more shots up with those rebounds and scoring a couple extra buckets gonna have them with the lead here three throw difference is definitely large for the Knicks as well as the lawn right wide open lane gonna take the layup five point lead now for the Knicks but it's doing a good job of maintaining pressure here on JSAW says still hard from come back it's gonna be another pick and roll let's see how he defends it this time the pass is gonna still make it to the middle he's gonna go up with the center there but that's not gonna be good a great contest there now in the fast break the bucks gonna look for some play here has the open lane decides to bring it back gives it back to delon right is the screen gonna come through doesn't look like that's the case 
Rangers. So what's going on here? Wide open mid range. A shot the lawn right usually does hit. It's going to be off as Knicks have the ball in the five point lead. I really like what Jordan's doing right now. He, I think he's identified the pain points for his defense and he's kind of supplementing them himself. Yeah. And there you go, occupying space where he knows his players aren't going to and making sure that they don't stack up on each other. He's playing patiently on the offense for better or for worse. Maybe a little too patiently. He has to be sometimes, but going for that dunk, finding it three points now. It's the difference between a tied game so far. And like I said, Jordan playing a little bit more patiently in the offense. It's allowing him to allow his opponent to make mistakes that he doesn't even have to try to have happen. Going for the shot, it's gonna get a rebound. And he turns into another shot. Offensive no, three second. Violation. Yeah, the Bucks gonna have the ball here. There's nothing going there for the Knicks, and it's gonna be a one-possession game here. Bucks looking to come back into this one. Knicks, I don't think, still have a bucket outside of the restricted area. So it's definitely a, a way to win for the Bucks is shooting that three ball. Gonna look for a shot here, Pat Conton. I don't think that's gonna be going in, but it does Ooh. drop in, and the game is tied up at 25. Finally found his way back. I think, I think what's also working for Jordan is he just wants to keep his offense simple. It's either goes for the open court, runs it down, or passes to a guy who takes a shot. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. We're gonna see the Knicks also fight another basket, 27 to 25 now. Jess coming up to 45 seconds left in this quarter. j -Sauce definitely can still have a lot of work to do here. It's three right in front of him. That means that there's plenty of open teammates here. He's going to find one of them passing it back and forth. It's a game of hot potato, like I mentioned before. Five seconds before it burns you. Going to go for the three, not going to find it. And uh, 30 seconds for this quarter. Can the Bucks do something here? Yeah, they have the ball. Carl Anthony Towns should look to get in the post here as he's the biggest player on the floor. Let's see if the Knicks decide to abuse that matchup. Now it's going to be Josh Hart in the corner here, trying to create his own shot, but it's great defense from the Bucks. Nice strip there. Now we have a fast break with 10 seconds left. Can the Bucks tie up the game here? It's great defense from the Knicks. Carl Anthony Towns in the paint. That's going to be an alley oop attempt from Jay Sauce. It's not going to go. Half court shot hits off the rim, and the first half ends with the Knicks leading by two. It's getting a lot closer, definitely closer than it was in the first quarter. Still, we're gonna have Jazzman leading this, but I feel like as soon as Jordan starts leading, he's gonna run away with the game. Like we mentioned, he hasn't really been struggling too, too much with the offense. It's the defense he wants to clean up. Look, eight points from his top performer, it's only two on the other, and that guy was probably the one to making all those free <laughs> throws. <laughs> Everyone's had a turn on the uh, New York Knicks, though. Yeah, Jalen Brunson early on the game had a great, great drive to the lane, and nothing was slowing him down, but now the starters are back into the game, fully replenished. Now we're going to see the heavy hitters come out. Let's see how the Knicks decide to attack in this half. We're going to see a three-point shot coming out from Carl Anthony Towns. Wide open. That's definitely one you'd expect him to make. But it's going to be Brooke Lopez getting the rebound. Damian Lillard going to bring it up the floor. Let's see what kind of play call the Bucks have in their first possession of the half. It's going to be a backdoor cut to Giannis. Yet again, Carl Anthony Towns is there to stop the one. Mikael Bridges going to be first one out here. Pass it to Carl Anthony Towns. Wide open layup. The Knicks maintain their pressure. Yeah, 29 25 now. Jordan, he's not liking how things are going for him, so he's gonna have to take this game to his own hands. Playing slow, recognize he can't play that slowly with someone right in front of him. He's gonna go for a pass halfway across the court, and it's gonna find his way in another three. I think you're telling me he's not gonna be wanting to go for these threes as much, but look at him. He's finding a lot of success with them, and it's kind of getting him back in this game. I really like what he's doing so far. He just has to find a way, uh, once again, patch up the hole in the defense, oh. make something work, but another return three, showing he can do it too. 32 to 28. This game is just getting wider and wider as every second goes on. Yeah, Jazzman has finally started to shoot the ball a little bit, and it looks <laughs> like it has been working very well for him. Brooke Lopez shooting up a pump fake, then try and take it to the rack. Pass to Giannis, and yet again, it's stripped away by Carl Anthony Towns time and time again. That has happened. It's a dangerous pass right under the rim. Mikhail Bridges is going to get his own board in the middle of those statues down there. Carl Anthony Towns now going to look for the ISO against Brooke Lopez here. That's a pretty good matchup now. Jalen Brunson, only with three seconds to work, going to go for the layup, but that's great look defense it. from Brooke Lopez. Grabs look the rebound. It. Giannis now going to have it on the fast break. Decides to pass it off to Gary Trent Jr. Giannis is in the paint. 
finds the pass and gets uh, the layup to go. Very nice shot there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Gets it, they get the game within two. I know number 10 there, that guy didn't miss a lesson in defense uh, defense school. His IQ for defense is massive. Look at him. He's single-handedly keeping Jordan in the game. He's not even touching the guy. He's playing all by himself. Going for another breakaway shot. Beautiful timeout is called. This time I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be Jazzman making it. Uh, yeah, it is. And uh, here we go. Jordan taking some time now to savor the flavor of success. He hasn't had a lot of time to taste it in this series so far, but right now it's in his mouth. He's swishing it around and he's going to hopefully swallow it before the end of this game. Now we're waiting for the end of this timeout. Hopefully Jasmine is not coming up with anything too crazy to break out of this tie hell that we've been in for so long. Yeah, I think Jordan definitely has the upper hand uh, for the rest of this game as he is fully locked in. And let's see how he decides to play this one. Coming out of timeout, probably making a few substitutions. Game tied at 32, Jasmine has the ball. Jalen Brunson will be taking on Damian Lillard here. Gonna go around the screen and has the open lane. Giannis is oh. there, however. Wide open three for Jalen McBride. It's not going to hit. Giannis has the ball in fast Run break. Only one man to beat. Finds Gary Trent Jr. in the corner. It is a contested shot and it's not gonna go in, but Torian Prince gets yes. the rebound and gets the dunk to give the Bucks the lead. Even hung on there. Really let everybody feel that moment. This is the time that Jordan is breaking away with the game. It's a small lead, but it's the first time he's He's had it. 34 to 32. Can he stop Jasmine? A violation. That's three seconds. Yet again. Hey, yeah. Three seconds. You know the rules, buddy. You know the rules. Play yeah. by them. That's not something that usually happens too often, but we've seen it twice. And it being a one possession play, that could be a play that could be a big difference in the final score here. Gary Trent Jr. is wide open. I'm surprised Jay Sauce isn't shooting that. Damian Lillard was wide open. These jump shots have to be taken. So there's some respect from the opponent, but he's going to take a contested one from deep and he hits it. That's a five so, point lead now for the Bucks. That was beautiful. You doubted him. I held my tongue because I knew what he was cooking there. I have no idea what he's trying to do, but he made it work. Not going to be three, not going to be a rebound. In fact, it might be. Still has a chance. Going to go for the stuff. Finds it. Beautifully done. That's a turnaround. Run it straight down. Get it over to number 12. Find your way in. Drive to the court. He's not even going to bother passing it to his lackey underneath the net, but he's going to get fouled. This is going to be the first free throw we're going to see for Jordan in this game. Yeah. I think it is. We're going to see Giannis go for the shot. Beautiful. It's Didn't even hesitate. Just went right and it knows the rules. It knows what it needs to do. Second one, following it up. Can he find it? Green. It's good. Beautifully done. And a timeout called once again. Knicks. He's, he's freaking out. He I is, told you, once Jordan is. takes the lead, he's going to run away with this game. Daniel's prediction. It doesn't matter if he knows the game like the back of his hand or for his first time ever seeing it. I'll let you guess, ladies and gentlemen, which is the case today. But. He's always right with his predictions. I must agree with you, Daniel. I mean, it was 32-30 for the Knicks. Now a 9-0 run as Jay Sauce has absolutely erupted in this third quarter. And Giannis has definitely been the leader. He's been finding these passes, the fast breaks, the rebounds, all the defensive stops that are needed. And the Knicks just cannot put the ball in the basket as of late. They need a desperately good play here. Coming out of this timeout, let's see what he can draw up coming out of this one. Nothing hanging just yet. Iso ball against him. You can see Jace House is playing off ball defense with his defender there. Drive to the paint. Great defense again. That layup is going to be off. Nice rebound by the Bucks. I think the Knicks might be slowing down a little bit offensively from the look of things. Damian Lillard going to try and take it around. One defender. No defender. That's a shot Damian Lillard can definitely hit. I'm surprised he isn't taking that. Now two defenders going to be there. Wide open shot for Pat Compton. It is going to be off. I think Jace House, if he just pulls the trigger on these wide open shots, with his best shooter, we'll have a way better chance of putting a lot more points on the board. But we're gonna see oh. a violation charging foul on Carl Anthony Towns. That's gonna be another turnover as Bucks have basketball. Sent that guy flying and he had the audacity to argue with the ref. <laughs> like, you know what you're doing. You knew what you're doing when you set your shoulder charging to that guy's chest, okay? Except the consequences and here we are. The consequences are now 15 on the shot clock. Going for the pass, Giannis right there. Not gonna find the shot, a little bit of of a mechanic issue there, skill issue, not going to be able to execute it perfectly, but still, it's 
these things happen. You make so many shots in a game, you're not going to get every single one of them. And now we're seeing the Knicks on the side of Milwaukee Bucks' net, trying to desperately pry themselves open. But what I'm noticing is Jordan is trusting the defensive IQ of his players a little bit more. This guy's a beast, an animal. Look at him. He hasn't let a single one pass him all game. An absolute beast, a monster. And that's going to be another successful save for Jordan. Yeah, Brooke Lopez having a monster game. Four and a half seconds left. Damian Lillard going to get it at the half court line. Two seconds, one second. That may, might be a little bit too deep, even for someone like Damian Lillard. But it's an amazing third quarter from the Bucks. They take a huge seven point lead as the Knicks have gone completely dry on the offensive side of the ball. They try to find these buckets inside. But as you said, Brooke Lopez has been an absolute mountain inside the paint, at least four or five blocks in this matchup. Now, Jay Sauce going to look to close out the game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Absolutely, you can be leading for the entire game. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, whoever has the most points in the at the end of the fourth quarter is going to be the winner. So we're seeing Jordan finally maintaining a strong lead. Both teams actually struggling to find a goal for quite a while uh, since he kind of found that 39 mark. We haven't seen the uh, score change much. There we go. A beautiful dunk. He went all out with that one like it was a dunking contest showed us what he could do. And again, Jordan relying on the defensive IQ of his players. A nice screen to get the through, but Jordan was, whoa! Completely off the mark there, getting crossed out, but a foul is gonna be found, and that's gonna afford him some free throws. And a timeout is called in the free throws? I didn't even know you could do that. Between free throws, so not there. Yeah, so it's gonna be one free throw hit there, and now a timeout going to be called by Jesus. He has quite a healthy lead, so he definitely does want to keep up the beautiful defensive yep. plays he's had. But yep. on the offensive side, he's gonna look to probably chew out the clock a tiny bit in this quarter. Free throw comes through from Jill Burson, it is good. Bucks maintaining this nice advantage here in the fourth quarter. They're gonna be DeLon Wright leading the backup squad here. No Giannis, no Damian Lillard on the floor. These are the most important minutes of the game here for the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, this defense is collapsing into the middle. Interesting play. Cam McBride guard there. No, Delon Wright gonna take that jumper, but it was pretty heavily contested there. Great defense from the Knicks as they look to get on board. Jalen Brunson passes inside to oh. Josh Hart, gets it back, but that's a pretty contested shot into two bigs. Jalen Brunson cannot hit that one. Now the Bucks are back out on the fast break. Let's see if he can find the open man here. One on one against Brunson. This is a good matchup, I think, for the Bucks. Looks for the pass though to Bucamp. Looks for a mid range shot there. No, can't find it. There's a wide open player in the paint, but that's it's going to be three seconds for that player. He was wide open there for a long time. I thought the pass would come through. It doesn't. And now the Knicks have a chance at a comeback. Yeah, this is their chance, realistically. I think this is going to be the momentum shift for the game. If Jordan's able to stop this one, I don't see Jazzman finding their way back into this game in time. But we're seeing a nice defensive play come through. Jay Sauce manually controlling one, but he's not going to find the stuff. But he doesn't need it. He's going to miss the shot. Jazzman not finding the shots as well as he was at the start of this game. Passing back to the top of the court. Looking to find his way in. Second on the clock. Oh my. Dunk, but it's not going to go in. It's, I've never seen a dunk miss in my life. And that's going to be the first time I'm seeing it here, ladies and gentlemen. As we see one go in now. 43 to 34. Showing him how it's done. Running away with the game. Three minutes on the clock. I'm going to call this one early. I think Jordan's found this game. And again, it's still a best of three, so you still have plenty, plenty, plenty of time to work with. But I think this is a strong showing for the game. I mean, Jalen Brunson is doing everything in his power to keep the Knicks in it. It's going to be an eight-point game after his free throw. Seven-point game, but as you said, with three minutes, this is one you would definitely expect to see the Bucks be able to close out. Timeout is going to be called just to get some calmness, and I think we might see Giannis coming back into the game. Yeah, that's going to be the only change JSOS is going to make us. You know, putting your best player in the game is never a bad idea. Yeah. And with three minutes to go, JSOS can just play the solid defense and play some good, solid offense, maybe to build off that momentum going into game two. It is a best, best of three series. That would be a good start. Brooke Lopez was wide open for a three shot there. Giannis now going to be in the paint. Pass it out to Damian Lillard. Brooke Lopez off of the screen. He can definitely shoot for a center, but I don't know if Iso Ball is the one you want to be playing with him. Giannis has it at the three point line. Looks to like take it inside. Has a smaller defender. Goes up for the layup and gets it to go. Gonna be a nine point lead for the Milwaukee Bucks. I really feel for the defender there. 
just not much you can do realistically. That guy was about twice his height, <laughs> barreling down the net, and he tried his best. Much credit to him. Not gonna find the shot either here. 36 to 45. This is looking to be a stagnant flat line of a score for the Knicks as he opened up the net, didn't go for the shot, opted to pass it back. Foul oh, though. Foul. It's gonna be some more free throws for JSOS here. And that's gonna be the first action. Misses. Miss. Uncharacteristic. Second one. This one's gotta find its way in. Yeah, Brook Lopez can definitely shoot the free throws, hits it there, and now Knicks down 10, two minutes to go. Very, very, very hard for them to probably get back into this game. He just starts raining threes down, I think, playing better Ooh. defense. But Giannis Antetokounmpo is there with the block, and he's looking to run the fast break. j can going to just burn out the clock, but he's going to go for more. Gets the Ooh. and one. Giannis Antetokounmpo just simply too big for OG Ananobi to deal with. Uh, he did not like that one. You can see the shock on his face after that foul there. Really dissatisfied, but you're going to have to accept the circumstances as they come. 49-36 still not able to find one, but Jazzman finally getting one more on the board. Hey, two minutes left in this game. There's, I want to say, still plenty of time. It's not no, too much, but no it's not impossible. I, we could see Jazzman really come back here, but if Jordan keeps landing nets like that, it's going to be getting... Really, really unlike. Yeah, Jay Sauce has just been pouring it down with Giannis here in this fourth quarter, and there's nothing Jazzman has done to respond. Wide open three, though. Definitely one you gotta be hitting if you want to be beating a player of Jay Sauce's caliber. As there's gonna be oh, a foul. On. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo, yet again, another charging foul. He just can't it's get out his, of the way. It's not his fault. That's I mean, realistically not even his fault. The guy knew what he was doing. He knew the risks involved in trying to defend against him. And he, he, he suffered the consequences. Unfortunately, the ref's going to see in a different way, and that's going to allow the Knicks to find one more shot, find one more basket. 40 to 51 here, 11 score deficit for Jasmine against Jay Sauce, and is looking to get wider as Giannis has a clear net, passing it back to the teammate. Well, he's going to be a three, finding a beautiful sink. Ooh, you can even hear Jordan kind of celebrating <laughs> from his pot over there. Uh, you love when the players are getting involved in the game. Defense is getting slow. These players are getting a little gassed out here in this game. I don't blame them. They've been on the court for a long, long time. Put their blood, sweat, and tears. We're seeing another turnaround. JSOS not even going to drive. More like jog his way towards the net. Slowly but surely, he'll find his way there. Just trust the process. Goes for it. Not going to find the end one. That's good for the Bucks as this game is going to be wrapping up soon. Giannis does miss the free throw, but he's already done his job today. The victory will definitely be taken by the Bucks. Knicks gonna have one final opportunity to score a basket. The foul will come through. Gary Trent will have a couple free throws. Uh, or Gary Trent makes the foul. It's gonna be a couple free throws coming here. Makes the first one, but Definitely not enough time to come back. Campaign looks to down, knock down the second one and does. And with this game wrapping up, let's see if Jay Sauce goes for a score here or if he just decides to dribble this one out. Giannis gonna have it at half court and it looks like Jay Sauce just gonna burn a bit of clock up the time here. Damian Lillard gonna shoot a three from deep, wide open, doesn't hit. 22 seconds and counting Knicks. Trying to get one final basket here, oh, but I don't luck. think Giannis is going to allow that to happen. And there's gonna be the jump shot, pretty well contested. The rebound is taken there by Gay Trent Jr. Damian Lillard now, seven seconds and ticking. Gonna shoot one final step back. It does not hit the mark, but that's gonna be all she wrote for game one. Milwaukee takes game 54 to 42. Beautifully done, a master class in the art of the comeback. Excellently executed. I, like I said, Jordan had to take a couple of seconds there at the start of the game to figure out his opponent. Looking like he lost. <laughs> Not really sure <laughs> why he kind of should be celebrating, pumping his fist. But realistically, a lot of the Saints are perfectionists. He knows he could have done better, realistically. Being down for the first two quarters, it's not something you want to see on any player, especially when you're confident as Jordan is. So he doesn't want to be showing up 
that much. He doesn't even want to give his opponents to have a chance. He wants to be completely dominant and uh, be in full control of the game from the get-go. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it took him some time to figure out his opponent, but once he did, I mean, there were not a lot of points scored in the second half there for the Knicks. They were at 32 points for a long time and finished with only 42. So a great, great game there from uh, j Sauce to bring that one back from uh, what looked like could have been a shaky start. But I think going into game two, all the, c the confidence is there for j Sauce, And I would say he's a heavy favorite going into the second game. Now, Theo, you're like the basketball master. I feel like if you're not sleeping, you're watching basketball at any given moment. I kind of want to ask you, pick your brain, what do you think really uh, – made that game tick like how'd that go in your eyes because to me i feel like the knicks players might just be getting paid too much like they got, they got uh, seriously they got lazy near the second half of that game like they they you know made it through halftime they're cashing in their checks they didn't want the ball as much they didn't want to make the shots they're getting th i'm getting three million either way True. it doesn't matter if we win or not and i think that really affected not just the shots, but even the defense. Like, a lot of plays Jordan wasn't able to make at the start of the game. He was able to find near the yep. second half. He just stopped trying as much. Is that a thing in the game? I, I mean, I, I don't think so. I think Jordan just did a great job of figuring out the enemy team's mm. tactics. The New, New York were just getting into the paint and hitting layups. Then he put Giannis in the paint, made sure none of that was possible. And then he found Giannis on the offensive side with a mismatch every time, getting the easy layups, and every single point counted up, counted up. In the end, he takes a pretty easy victory. Beautiful, and we're going to take a pretty easy five-minute break, ladies and gentlemen, as our players are getting a nice calm break in between games. But it's going to be anything but calm as soon as we get back. So take this moment of reprieve to recharge your batteries, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after a quick break.
Hello back, everybody. We are back for game two, but before we get into that, we have a guest. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am Ricky LaFleur. I play League of Legends here at the school, but today we're watching basketball, gentlemen. We got a matchup between Jazzman and our own Jay Sauce. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, just before we went to break, I said that Theo's like the basketball guy. Anytime I look at this guy, he's watching basketball. Ricky, if if Theo's here, uh, Ricky's like the kingpin <laughs> of basketball guyness. So he is absolutely, completely on top of the basketball game. And these two are kind of like a dynamic duo. So I think it's going to be a good game. It's going to be one hell of a night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. I mean, yeah. I mean, Jay Sauce was able to take game one pretty dominant fashion in that second half. I scored his opponents by a lot of points. But here in game two, we're, it's gonna be, I'm going to be interested if Jasmine sticks with the Knicks, which mm. did not go well against the Bucks. Or he's going to try and switch it up to a different team. Maybe something that can deal with a Giannis. Something like the Lakers or the Timberwolves. Yeah, something with a bit more length. Uh, what do you think about that game plan? You know what? Uh, honestly, I'd like to see him pick up a wild card team. One wild card team that I'd like to see. The Clippers. The Clippers. Big zoo box <laughs> in the middle. Giannis can't drive on the zoo. Zoo's going to have 15 rebounds in this game. And we have all the offensive capabilities through James Harden. Mm. Norm Powell, he's green from the three line. I want, I, want to guess, I want you to guess, Ricky. How many charge fouls do you think Giannis had last game? Let me get three. Four. Four. Yeah. Playing against those tiny guys that were throwing themselves in front of him 24-7. It was unbelievable. But, you know, J-Sauce pushed through it to the end, found his way to victory. But still, gentlemen, we're talking big guys versus small guys, small guys versus big guys, big guys versus big guys. What's all that about? When it comes to basketball, is it really just a height game? I mean, it's not just a height game, okay. but height is definitely an important piece. You know, someone who's seven feet tall will have an advantage against someone against who's five feet tall, but they will be a little bit slower. They won't be True. as quick. The shorter people, they have the quickness advantage, but then there's people like LeBron who are 6'9", 250, and are faster than Usain Bolt. I mean, <laughs> it's a bit unfair. People like Giannis, just freak athletes. Those are kind of one-on-one, -on -one, but definitely being tall. You could see how much Giannis dominated just from his height, all those smaller guards just can't do anything to him in the paint, and he just bulldozed them. Yes, ran over them a couple times, you know, maybe caused some uh, havoc after the game. Ice <laughs> definitely going to be needed after that one, but I mean, Jay Sauce used Giannis perfectly. I think he will definitely stick to the box as that has been his recipe for victory. Yeah, regardless of the minor casualties in the <laughs> offense, necessary. Fouls, you know, Giannis can still score from anywhere, he can True. still pull up from mid range. His three's not the best, you know, he has... Oh, we saw, we saw otherwise in that last oh, game. Was, we saw otherwise. Three. He was shooting I mean, some of those. He's historically not known for his three, but in the paint, like, there's nobody better than him, right? Okay. So, we'll see if we're going to have him back on the bus. Yeah, let's see if he is going to be back on. But see, Jordan definitely game planning there, thinking about what he can do differently to win against his opponent in a much easier fashion in the first half. It was definitely a struggle for Jay Sauce. He was down points, just couldn't get anything going offensively or defensively. But I think that paint game is definitely the key to success for the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm -hmm. The relentless aggression that was coming out from Jay Sauce, like again that second half of the game. If you I don't, I don't think you saw that game, Ricky. You were too busy. No, I saw bits and pieces. I yeah. saw that in the second half that Jay saw picked it up. He picked yeah. it up, and he was, uh, he was grabbing all these rebounds, and he was getting all these possessions where, you know, there was no, there was no good shots being put up by New York. New York would put up a three. He'd get the rebound, mm -hmm. free two points. Giannis in the paint. It's free two points almost any time you get them, right? And what, like the the official breakdown, the official um, analysis coming from the top desk, the desk above us. There's actually a desk one floor above us, and the official analysis from them was the Knicks just stopped caring too much in that <laughs> second game. They're getting the three million either way, and they didn't put in yep. as much effort, and that allowed Jordan to kind of pick up the slack. If you have to pick a team that's never going to do anything like that, they're fighting to the end. They will literally die on the court before they put in 1% less effort, what is that team? Give me the Miami Heat, baby. Okay. Give me the Miami Heat. I respect They're all dedicated players, okay. uh, led by the veterans on their team, Bam Adebayo. They got Jimmy Buckets. I mean, <laughs> Is that a real name? Jimmy Butler, but he's known okay. as Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy okay. Buckets on that team. I mean, I don't Jimmy know how they fare in this game, but if you're talking about that mentality, like, mm. like that Kobe, dog in you. like that's, that's the Miami Heat. They embody that. Okay, do you think that is that a viable pick? Is that, is that team no. Smasher? Okay. Uh, no. 
<laughs> not in the game. Okay. In, re- in real life, you know, like emotions and like <laughs> that dog that they have in them doesn't really translate to the game. Okay. So in real life, you know, they get under people's skin. In the game, they're kind of AI players. So um, they don't have emotions <laughs> or feelings. They just play basketball. They're built like Kawhi Leonard, all of them. So that's why I don't think it's Miami Heat's the best option. Uh, and speaking of AI players, the one thing, again, kind of blew my mind a little bit. Jordan was telling me that some of these players, like some of them are just, for lack of a better term, are just dumber than the other ones. Some of them are just smarter. Like they will play <laughs> offense and defense just better than their counterparts, yeah, right? That's and a, that's I want to, <laughs> I want to know both of you gentlemen, um, who do you think, if you had to put your life on the line, okay, oh, just like okay, an AI okay. match, just like a one-on-one, right? Who do you think, just like overall, is like the smartest player, like AI wise? Like, who do you think is the smartest player? Smartest player. Yeah, Not offense, team. defense, and all around. LeBron! <laughs> Come on, you knew it was coming. LeBron. LeBron's the whole package, man. He's got okay. the defense. He was robbed of the defensive player of the year. You'll never change my mind on that. And, you know, he's a he's multi-time MVP, multi-time finalist, multi-time champion. Everything, multi-time everything. He's literally the highest scoring player of all time. How is that all around that? or is that yes. offense? So everything. The most points. So he's the offense, best. defense, and all around. That AI, was... smartest guy. Yes. Yeah. I, I rest my case. LeBron is <laughs> apparently the greatest of all time. Unless the you factor in the young fella okay, coming, out of the f- coming out of France uh. for the Spurs. Oh. Mr. Victor Wemby. Yeah! Come okay. on, Wemby. Dude, Wemby is a force on the court. I'm telling you, Daniil. He's seven for four. There's nobody like him. He's he's dunking the ball from the free throw line. Like really? Yeah. Like you've never seen. Like you've never seen. <laughs> the free throw line. This guy is getting dug. You if should Ricky you should see it, him play. You, you should need to show, show me after play. this. You, you need to show me. You, after you this. should see Wemby. It's unbelievable. I mean, I wouldn't hate to see a player like Wemby in this game. Yeah, the rest of the team are walking uh, two boxes, but Wembyama <laughs> he can one v five the entire lineup. Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, that's not the worst matchup. Uh, and you know, any contest at the rim. I mean, Wembyama is going to be there and as you said he's dunking it from the free throw line that's definitely something that can get your team pumped up and if you're talking defense this guy is the defensive maximum he okay. is the top of the top in defense. He's Pretty swatting top. the ball off the off the backboard. Give me that. He's taking it. <laughs> he doesn't swat it. He grabs, he grabs it. it. He grabs it. His hands okay. are massive. Like, <laughs> bear paws, I'm talking. Okay, well, that's interesting to know. We got really two strong, solid competitors uh, throwing for the top. You know, we're talking the top of the top, but if we're talking about... The bottom of the bottom, if you know you're if you're playing for your life or your life is on the line and you have this player going against LeBron and you know that it, this AI is deciding your fate, which player do you think is going to get your life extinguished the fastest? Extinguished the fastest? Fastest? Yeah. Give me Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Tatum. He, he's a great player, but you know what? He's overshadowed by his team, if you ask me. Jason Tatum, as we're going to be getting in the game here, ladies and gentlemen. As we're going to have the same matchup, the Bucks versus the Knicks. Let's hope Jason Tatum's not in this game. I mean, Fortunately, he is not. He is not going to be able to choke this one. But as we have two points coming out for the Bucks right away. Yeah, it's going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo getting to the paint and yet again finding the dunk. So much success with that in game one. As now it's going to be Jalen Brunson going to the paint, but Giannis won't be having Already. any of that. But that is a foul yet again. We saw that in the first half of the last game. Jalen Brunson getting free throws with ease. He's going to be back to the line for two. Yeah, and you can see Jalen Brunson, he's always going to make those two free throws. He, again. He's, he's so good at getting to the paint, you know. And when he's in the paint, he's almost guaranteed to make the shot. And if he doesn't, you have to foul him. I got to know. Guys, what's this guy's deal? Is he just, like, good at getting fouled? He is. He is. That's a a secret trait. Okay. Believe it or not, some of the best scorers in the NBA are known for that. Being able to get fouled the most. True. I I really want to know the art of getting fouled. But in the meantime, we're We're getting the art of a sneak shot. We're seeing the Knicks taking one on the board. Good defense coming out of the Milwaukee Bucks here as we're going to get the swat at the board. But we're going to have a possession here for Milwaukee as Dame Lillard bringing it up the court. Going to take a couple dribbles here. Look at his options. Oh. Like to see the ISO here as he passes Woo. it in. Two free points. Giannis with a jam. Come out on. Out of nowhere, too. I loved it. Beautiful. He just really snuck up and came out from behind and slam dunked it from underneath. Is that even legal? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's one of the best basketball plays there is. Carl Anthony Towns. Hosting him up. Get out of here, my God! Not in my house! 
<laughs> that was crazy. As we're taking it back up the court for Milwaukee here. Yeah. Another Ooh. possession. Gary Trent Jr. going to have the one-on-one -on -one against Mikhail Beers here. Let's see if it's going to be another backdoor oh. cut here. It's going to be oh. Corian Prince putting up a shot. That's not a possession how you want to end it with a missed shot. But a nice try there from the Bucks as they get the first three-point shot attempt. Yeah, I like the idea. Stay aggressive. Get the shots up. You know, you miss 100% of the ones you don't take. But, you know... Sometimes you're looking for a more extended possession. Jalen Brunson to the rim. Not going to be able to get this one to go as Milwaukee takes the rebound. Giannis going to rack up another board here. Play some hot potato with Damian Lillard now. Let's wait for a screen to come through. Brooke Hope is going to set that one wide open. Three. Damian Lillard usually hits that one. But Jay Sauce having a bit of trouble getting his timing down as it's a low-scoring contest to start the affair. Yeah, Jasmine not... Not being able to get too much done on offense yet, but there we go. Getting that Four. two points from Carl Anthony Towns, Jalen Brunson with the assist. Good start here for Jasmine. Being able to get some momentum would be good for either one of these guys. This is a sensitive point in the game where you definitely want to establish an early lead, but you don't want to be gassing up your players, missing the shot. That's going to be a rebound afforded the way of the Knicks, and he's driving it straight oh, down, downs. finding a nice shot. Six to four now, breaking away from that tie. But like I said, gentlemen, you don't want to gas your players out from the get-go, but you still want to establish a strong lead. It's a really delicate balancing act as we're seeing him drive his way down to the hey, net. Dame. Open on the back. Is he going to get the pass? He's got a two-on-one here. He needs, he needs help. Passes it in. Woo. Torian Prince. Not no, not able to get that one to go as we're going to get a rebound here for Jasmine. I believe that was Isaiah Hart. No, that's Josh Hart. That's Josh Hart. Josh Hart. And he has the ball. Gets the pick from Conti Towns. Looking for the backdoor cut again. Three Carl times in a row. Carl Anthony Towns has been able to get into the paint and find these zones. And yet again, starting off hot for Jasmine. Nothing that j -Sauce can do early on. Now he has the one-on-one -on -one against Josh Hart. This is definitely Run something you want to take. If you're Giannis, gives it out to Damian Lillard. Would love to see a pass back to Giannis. Nobody too big into the paint. Post him down. Giannis going to pass down to Damian Lillard. Tell your prince. Going to give it back to Giannis. Four seconds and counting. Needs to get a shot off quickly. Two seconds. One second. Giannis fading away up. from three. <sighs> That's not a shot you want to be putting up. Great defensive possession by the Knicks. If you got that, I would have fainted. Just all I'm going to yeah. say. Yeah. As Carl Anthony Towns going to get hard fouled like on the take crumbled. here. Torian Prince laying down the hammer on Mr. Carl Anthony Towns. Hopefully we're going to get two free throws here for New York. Yeah, he he, uh, he really felt the pain from that foul, but apparently he's in good enough condition to take two free throws. Something tells me that's a little suspicious, ref. Might want to investigate that call, but now 10-4, to 4, they're going to be able to, <laughs> to just bring themselves back from a little bit of a shaky offense from the start. Yeah, it's going to be a pick and roll. Damian Lillard, Giannis Antetokounmpo, there's the pass into the oh! middle. What well worked so well last game for Jesus. I think it's going to be something he has to keep on repeating. And Giannis, when he gets to the rim, he's getting easy points. There's a nice layup, though. Fast break, no defense from uh, the Bucks. As that's two points you don't want to be giving away. Come on, Brooke Lopez, you got to get back, big man. Come on, we can't be leaving up an open lane like that. And Kirk, tell him, tell him what to do. He's, he doesn't know what he's doing. Look, he's nervous. But we got Dame Willard. Pass to Giannis. <laughs> Alabama Jamma. Come on. Got his way in. That was just, they. They literally cleared a path. They parted the Red Sea for him, and he just ran yep. his way down. They had they had the flags waving. Carl Anthony Towns in the paint here, gonna get some work done as he passes it back out to the point. Gonna set a screen now. Mm. He's gonna drive it here. Swing. Carl Anthony Towns with the ball, looking for the mid range. Not gonna take that shot as he passes it over. Got it. Oh, on to the it out of there. Is that the big hand guy you were talking about? He really just <laughs> completely stopped that one mid air. And there he is. Mitz. Oh, oh. He get blocked on the other end. <laughs> Oh, that almost found the back of Jordan. Not going to find it. However, oh, and Jasmine nice able to come back with two points on the other end of this. That's a four-point swing off that blocked layup. Yeah, last shot of the quarter. First one <laughs> wrapping up for us here. From range. Not oh, we've seen Dame Lillard hit those many times in his career, but unfortunately not going to be able to put that one in. Would have been a good one to hit going into the second quarter. One for the books. Yeah, as we're going to have a six-point lead for Jasmine in the Knicks. Carl Anthony Towns. Getting it done. Boys, yeah. what's going right? What's going wrong? 
I mean, a lot is going right for the Knicks. The defensive intensity from the team has been perfect. The only points scored from Jace Haas have been by Giannis Antetokounmpo backdoor, sure. backdoor drives. No jump shots, no other plays, just Giannis backdoor cuts. I mean, it worked in game one, but it's not working in game two. And the Knicks, I mean, they're finding these open layups, as Ricky said. Carl Anthony Towns has been able to roll his way into the paint, and nobody from the Bucks has been there to stop him. There's going to be Jalen Brunson going for the layup. Miss is it. There's the rebound coming out for DeLon Wright. Gives it out. Pat Conton wide open from three. We'll take a little bit too much time, I feel like, on that shot. Had the wide open angle there, but it's going to be another miss from three for the Bucks. So we're going to get another rebound for New York, and they're going to have a possession coming back the other way here. That's As turnover. We're going to have an out-of-bounds no, turnover? No, not turnover. Not a turnover. Knicks ball. I thought that was out off of us, or I, them, rather. I, I thought so, too. <sighs> okay, this ref is really <laughs> sketching me out now. Just seeing the defensive play come through. A little bit of defensive confusion on the court here. j is going to have to take manual control here. Going to whiff the stuff. 16-8 to eight now. That was just brutal to see. That's, that's Jalen Brunson in his bag. He's, he's just running up, getting past the defender. And you can't leave this guy one-on-one. Mm-mm. -on -one. Mm -mm. It hasn't worked out in his favor yet. Not a single time. Yeah, and this looks like Buck's going to go for a bit of a pick and roll here. Pat Conton in the corner. Gets past his defender. Can he get past second? No. The shot comes out. That's a contested shot. It is early as well. But Pat Conton the is there on the board. Pass out. It's going to be a mid-range two very early. Not even close. And j -Sauce is just completely crumbling right in front of our eyes as Knicks look to go up at least 10 here. That was a good yeah. catch by the guy on the bench, though. It's a bit of a low-scoring game coming out in Game 2 here, as in the previous game, we were at this score at the end of the first. True. True, yeah. yeah. The, the points were are, are a lot slower. They really picked up in the first quarter for just like a little bit, and now they've petered off yet again. I feel like one thing I've noticed is Jordan's a lot more hesitant for these shots. Like, look at this. I feel like by the fourth quarter in the last game, he'd be able to just run it down already. But now he's just like, I don't know, Shoot guys. It. Go for it. Do something, man. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a good play. Oh, there it is. That's a, a good nice play. That's a good play. As we're going to get a timeout from New York here off that big slam coming out from the Bucks. A beautiful play drawn up there by Jay Sauce. Baits the shot, doesn't take it, gets the backdoor cut, finds the open man, and the dunk comes through. Now he's only down two possessions here as Jasmine definitely showing a lot of improvements and changes mm -hmm. from game one. But we saw this happen before. I think there's a chance we're going to see it again as Jay Sauce looks to bring the comeback. Yeah, second quarter was Jay Sauce's bread and butter. He was scoring all kinds of points. This time, would it be Not interesting so to see if he can uh, get a bunch more points in the second quarter as well? One thing that Theo said that really, or I think it was Ricky mentioned it, like the only nets you're getting are, uh-oh, nice dunk finding its way in the middle of my sentence, forcing me to interrupt the point I was going to make, and I'm not even going to go back to it. Yeah. That's a statement right there. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, the Bucks get caught with their pants down as the rim has nobody within 30 feet of it, and they get a free layup dunk for New York. As a three ball! <laughs> three ball from the quarter as a that's response. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. He needs to find one. Now they're going to keep on coming and coming and coming and coming. Threes for days, baby. Jalen Brunson dumps it underneath. Not going to be able to get that one to go as we're going to have a turnover it's for open. Milwaukee. Dame Lillard Run in transition. Going to get two people on him as he wants his ISO matchup. He wants his ISO matchup. Drive that ball. Going to swing it back to Giannis. Goes up for the two. Easy makes boys. that. That's Giannis's bread and butter. The, if, if you're able to get Giannis the ball in motion, he's going to get you points. Yeah, Straight I mean, up. The pick and roll with Damian Giannis has proved deadly again. Now it's just a three-point game. Giannis, great defense on Jalen oh. Brunson here. Where are you going, oh. little man? That's get definitely out of it. He's what looking he's back. Thinking. He's reversing. Oh, but oh, a beautiful backdoor cut to Carl Anthony Towns. The leading scorer in the game here has half of the New York. Nick's points here as Jay Sauce needs to find an answer to Carl Anthony Towns. I yeah, think he's going to find it. I'd like to see some three balls be thrown up here. As down a couple points, he'd like to get some back before the end of this half. I'm the opposite of you. I want to see less threes. I want to see him get a more aggressive on there the court. There it goes. There's another one. Ah, uh, not less. able to get that one to go, unfortunately. That's Josh Hart with the rebound, bringing it back up the court for New York. He's going to swing Ooh. it and turn it over. <sighs> Not Pat Connaughton able to pick that pass off. And Giannis in the paint Giannis looks for the pass. Big mismatch. 
Oh, Two three points, oh. Big Giannis, the Greek freak, able to get that one to go. From the grave, too, on the ground. He was on there, finding the net nonetheless. When he gets aggressive, it works out for him. I don't want to see him standing outside in orbit, oh. shooting from the space station. Oh, green bean. Unfortunately, we're going to get a green shot from Mr. Mm -mm. Brunson up at the top, left unguarded. They mm -mm. opt to double team Carl Anthony Towns in the paint, and Carl just swings it out to the point. And able to get that one to go. It's an opportunity. And now Damian Lillard going to put up a terrible shot. <laughs> and the rebound comes through from Carl Anthony Towns to Jalen Brunson. Let's take it into the paint. Giannis going to get the steal. And it's going to be a jump, jump ball. ball. Giannis oh. against Jalen oh, Brunson. Hey, who, who, who you got your money on? Who I got mean, your money on, Daniil? I mean, Who's winning this, Giannis or Jalen? I got to say Giannis. He's huge. He's been running guys over all of that. And there it is. I'm just a man of Of course of Giannis numbers. is going to win this one. And there's, there's Pat Connaughton. Connaughton. Going to drive for two. Not able to get that one to go. I think that's a bit of a mistake coming out from Jay Sauce. As getting that possession is huge, but just a bit of a wasted possession, really. Yeah. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of those. Like I said, he's going for a lot of these threes. He's run up and then run back and then take the shot. I want to see him utilize uh -oh. the size advantage he has going for the shot. It's going to be a foul. Nick's stealing Bobby another Portis. Away. Bobby Portis. That's my guy, Bobby Portis. Is I he? mean, he's locked down defense usually, but unfortunately going to catch a piece of Carl Anthony Towns when he went up for that shot. I'd like to see the Bucks get Bobby Portis involved on the offense. Yeah, we haven't seen him score much in either game, but could definitely be a threat, a big piece off of the bench. Final possession of the first quarter here. Bucks are down eight. It was just a two-point game, so the Knicks, I mean, doing a great job. Jazzman knows what he's doing here. Damian Lillard has the wide open three, and it is a green Ooh, bean. 25 on. to 25 point Excellent. game. Seven seconds to go. Let's see what Knicks can run before the half is over. A couple points here could be crucial. Torian Prince going to look to play some defense. Defense, not his hot suit there. It's going to be miss. It's going to be a five-point lead for the Knicks in this game, too. Boys. Yeah. Sorry. I want to know because I think this is a critical moment. You're on the court. You're the coach. You have the chance to talk to your boys right now. You're the Knicks. You're the Bucks. What, what? are you saying to them? I'm channeling my inner Darvin Ham. I'm saying nothing. I'm going to tell them win. to be respectful, play basketball, salute. and that's it. And salute. Yeah, and uh, if I am on the flip side, and I know they have Darwin Ham, I know my chances of winning have gone up tremendously. But unfortunately, the Milwaukee Bucks are the ones with Darwin Ham in the head coach position. And we're going to be giving a wide open layup to Jalen Brunson to start the half. Not what you want to see coming out from the side of Jay Sauce, giving up an early two points to this already five-point lead. Yeah, and it's going to be a drive here by DeLon Wright. Very easy points right back. Nice lefty finish there from DeLon. You know, and that's what we want to see from Jay Sauce. These collected possessions where he gets a good shot off. If he can get the one-on-one -on -one matchup, as we're going to see, unfortunately, another lapse on defense from Milwaukee coming out. Then he's not happy. Yeah, bench that guy. Yeah. Get him off the court. Like, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> I respect that very much. I don't know if that's exactly what he was doing, but that's what I'd be doing if I something, saw something like that. That guy's contract is gone after that. <laughs> a bit extreme there maybe, Daniil, but low-key, when it's mean. a win-or-go-home situation, I don't hate that mentality. Brooke Lopez, Splash Mountain, going to be, be getting down and dirty under the basket. Gets the two points to go. The five-point lead again. Can the Bucks get a stop? Ooh. That's a nice try on the steal there, but now we have Torian Prince guarding on Carlton Towns. We're going to need a double team double cat up. post the pump fake into the corner to Jalen okay. Brunson another double team him. Josh Hart is he going to shoot that Carl it's going to be Towns. Carl Anthony Towns with the miss Josh Hart though shortest oh player on the floor gets the rebound goes for the layup gets it's another it's offensive rebound, rebound oh but God. gets it right it's over run oh it down God. and then Milwaukee's going to take it back up the court shoot a three ball Oh my god, if that goes in, the swing of this game would be insane. That was like a 3.5. He was so far from And that. then we give up a huge dunk up the middle again, man. Ah. As the frustration starting to boil over here for Jay Sauce. Not able to get these shots on offense off cleanly. We need to batten down the hatches. There's so many holes in the ship, and there he is! Oh, there we Plugging go! Plug the big hole right in the middle of the net on the field. Look at him, he's feeling himself. He deserved that one, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's just unbelievable right now. There's, I, I, listen, I'm the rookie here. I will say I'm green as grass on a hot summer morning, but I can see when some players are just not carrying their weight, and some 
sometimes it costs you the game. They're leaving all these holes open on the court. Yeah. They're not running in. They're not getting aggressive. They're not shifting their shoulders. What's going on? We need Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis is locked down defense. If we can keep somebody in the paint on these transition plays, mm. he's getting burned on these transition plays. If he can just somehow manage to either start hitting the shots or getting back on defense more effectively, he's going to be able to win this game. And there's a shot coming from Jalen Brunson. It is going to be off, and Giannis is out on the fast break. Jalen Brunson cannot Run guard Giannis, forward. and there's oh. going to be an easy two-hand jam. Great defensive possession from j -Sauce. Turns it into a one-possession game, and we saw this last game, the comeback in the third quarter. I think we might be seeing the similar thing again. You see two more of those. That's it. That's it. And probably a couple more after that. Yeah. If we hold the lead for the entire game, then not, we don't need oh, any Oh, that's more. a brick. That's a brick. Okay, this is the moment. He's building I, walls with those. We just need Come on. this. We need this. We need this more than anything. If he can get it to Giannis under the net, he's right there. Little guy on him, too. He's going to find the ball. Yep. Now he needs to drive it. Man up and take it. Going straight for it. Not going to find it. Getting possession Gets off the rebound. rebound. Finds it once again. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you, we just need two more. Now it's just one to take the lead of this game. Can Jordan hold this one? One point game, yeah. Coming out for j -Sauce. Another stop here would be very detrimental for the side of Jasmine. Push him. Oh. This is going to be Josh Hart. One on one gives it to Jalen Brunson, but it's great defense from JSOS here. Definitely turned up a notch. McCall Bridges going to shoot the three, and even with that broken form, gets the bucket to fall. It's going to be a four point lead for the Knicks. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, you, it, you just hate to see it, right? Like, I hated to see that. <laughs> Gian Giannis is, is going to be able to take it back up the court, though. Milwaukee going to need to get some points back on oh, this side. Oh, Green Bean! No! From the deep range. Able to get that one to go. Big shot coming out for Milwaukee and Jay Sauce here. As Jalen Brunson with the ball. Jasmine taking it back up the court. And it's good defense from the Bucks. Josh Hart cannot get much going on offense against Giannis. That's a contested shot from OG Ananobi. The rebound, the long right's going to watch that one head out of play. It's going to be Bucks ball, and it's going to be their first chance to take the lead, I believe, in this entire game. Mm. I'm excited to see what kind of possession we get out of J-Sauce here. This being the most important possession of the oh, game. What? As we're going to turn it what? over before we get anything done for no. a free dunk. Not what we want to see coming out of the oh, side of J-Sauce. Oh, oh man. I, that must just be the caster curse. It that has to. You said for at least oh, 10 seconds, this is the most important possession of the game. And he threw it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Not what you want to see coming out from the side of J-Sauce. We're going to get a shot from range. Not going to be able to get it to go, though. That would have tied the game up with 36 seconds in the third quarter, now New York, Carl Anthony one. Towns working, get a three ball That's off. Oh, I saw that. Be green for the side of Jasmine, able to get a big swing of points here as we once had a one point game, now up to a six point lead for Jasmine. Yeah, big three pointers here falling for the Knicks. McCall Bridges, definitely the key in that story there. Torian Prince with a beautiful backdoor cut, though. That's a Easy two points on the board. Would love to see that more from j -Sauce. Yeah, mm. Giannis not really known for getting the assist, but good vision there from j -Sauce, able to get that pass off in in, into the cutting player for oh, Milwaukee as oh. we're going to get dunked on our whole family by Carl Anthony Towns for the sixth he time this snapped game. Snap that back and snap the right back. Forward. Six oh, seconds left. Okay. Giannis Antetokounmpo going to bring it up the court. Need to get a shot off here. Come Find on, it. put it up. And it's just oh. early, so it won't go. A six-point lead for the Knicks. It was getting to very, very close there towards the ending stages of that quarter. But the Knicks, a couple three balls from McCall Bridges and some easy dunks from Calvin Anthony Towns. j -Sos is down six, heading into the fourth quarter. Gentlemen, another question for the both of you. You're both competitive players at the highest level of your respective games. In these moments where the game is so close, they, Jordan almost found his way back, but then it just slipped away from him one more time. It can feel impossible to maintain your composure and find your way back into the game. What does he have to say to himself? What does he have to do to maintain, keep himself back in this game? I mean, it's like any game, right? We just have to play good defense. We have to get these shots up. We have and to make them. Dunk. And this is what we need coming out of the side of j -Sauce. Able to get another good bucket, another cutting pass Easy. into the paint free dunk 
We need two points. It's so simple and efficient. It's what he was doing in the first game too. He hasn't been doing it too much in the second. I wonder if that's a strategic choice or if he's oh, going to find it. But uh, that's going to be a nice rough one for us to deal with. A Jaylen nice Brunson. six point deficit now. I definitely thought Giannis was going to get the block there, but then I realized Giannis is no longer on the floor. We're looking uh, for the backdoor cut again. You can see he's trying it every single play. That time gets stopped down. He's going to have to have a few more tricks up his sleeve to win this one. For the but cut again. he just oh. loves this backdoor cut and that was a two like double fake did it once did it work did it once again and there it was but he needs a stop desperately here stop is very important at this stage of the game four point game if we're able to get a stop here it's going to be a two, a one possession game potentially a foul on a three could make it a tie game you never know oh but there's a foul on to josh Thanks, hart man. Free throws Choking. gonna be going up here for Josh Hart. He could he is a player that could definitely miss a free throw, but Jazzman is okay. going Aye. to Aye. break the first one. Now that all the pressure's on in Milwaukee's Look, home. He's nervous. It's gonna go up and the green bean is there. Five point lead for the Bucks, but they're making their way back very slowly. Yeah, the Bucks need to get some stuff going on offense here, though. Unfortunately, Shoot to, that. to uh, Daniel's dismay, we're going to need to start hitting some threes, but unable to get this three ball to start draining as another potential offensive chance for JSOS is going to slip away, oh. and the New York Knicks going to throw up a three, but not able to get it to go either as we're going to get a timeout for JSOS here. Bobby, Bobby Portis. Portis, what are we doing? Get those goggles off, you googly-eyed man. I'll call this one right now, okay? I saw at the end of the first game when Jordan started. It's going to sound corny. It's going to sound like some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. When he started trusting in his players, trusting in his friends, that's when that was the big turnaround for Jordan there. The off they're, they're not dumb. These are smart players. I've seen what they can do, except for that one guy. Oh, God, it's like number 12 on the defense. He's just doing this into his teammate, not doing anything. That's not good. <laughs> that was not good. But when he really just relies on his players to make the right offensive plays, things happen when he gets them. Hey, he's going right to take the two points. That's you got to make those. Those are important possessions, man. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. We need to get some points. We need to stop here desperately if we're a J-Sauce man. Yeah, but it's going to be Carl Anthony Towns finding the jam with the two hands. That could be crucial a bucket right there. J-Sauce has been trying to shoot the ball, but he has not been shooting the ball well here in this fourth quarter. We, the only way we're finding points is on these two-point backdoor cuts. But if we want to cut into this lead, I think a three-ball or two are going to be desperately needed. We need stops. We need stops on defense. Defense. We need either transition buckets or we need to get some good looks at threes. Hit the shots. We need to hit the shots. As we're going to get a layup here for New York as he's going to be able to extend the lead to seven points. JSOS, where are you at? This is game time. Dame time. We need to see something crazy come out here. And that is Nope. That, that was crazy right there. The game absolutely exploded. So we're going to have a bit of technical difficulties. But gentlemen, time to banter. we have some time to talk about the game. It's been a pretty entertaining game. I feel like the one key here is j -Sauce. Just too many missed jump shots this game. 100%. Yeah, the jump shot, uh, As unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see the percentages right now. But I think it was 58 good. or something. Definitely <laughs> lower than 58. On jump shot? I saw 58% for something. Maybe field from the goal. field. He might be shooting 58 from the field. But the jump shot... It's not looking good right now. We, if we can get these jump shots to dial in, mm. we would be winning this game right now. 100%. And that's, we've had good defense. We've had turnovers. That's the main thing I'm noticing. Again, when, when Jordan's not, I don't want to say slows down. I feel like the slowing down is what's actually like biting him. We've, I, tell me I'm crazy. I, I, won't, I won't mind if, if I'm crazy for this. He, net's open. He gets a breakaway. He's running it down. And then he stops. Takes two steps back, goes for the three. Why? Just take it. This three is more than two. And in his head, he, two thinks, one zero. he thinks that, hey, I'm a really good player. I'm going to hit these wide open threes. And it just hasn't, hasn't been dropping. If these threes do begin to drop, though, the score will start going up and up. But in this game, I mean, his odds of winning this one are going to be very, very rough. I mean, down, what is it, six? Down seven. Seven, uh, seven I believe. But he does have possession. He still has his good players on the court. They've been resting. They have Dame Lillard on the floor. Dame Lillard, one of the best shooters of all time. Yep. Or of our era, anyways. 
Hopefully, oh, unfortunately. Oh, we do have... Five-point game. We do have a five-point game here as Milwaukee was able to get a two-pointer two while we were gone. As New York's going to have the ball with two minutes left in this game. Going to need to get a stop here. Where are you at, Jason? Giannis was the only one even trying there. The other one didn't even leave the ground. He just let him make that shot. It's it's unbelievable. He, he, to be fair, he got rested. That other guy has been on the court the whole time, so he's tired. His stats are lowered. He's not going to be willing to fight Shoot as hard. Shoot that, Dame. Dame oh. and misses, and that could be all she wrote. Down seven. All that New York need to do is just hold the ball. That is a risky pass. Whoa. Josh Hart across the whole court. Oh, Carl Anthony Towns going to dunk it on the whole team. We need some yeah, of those. Again, and from the look of things, we are more than likely headed to a game three. Jay Sauce, though, needs to get some rhythm flowing in these last few minutes. Maybe find something that works. Damian Lillard, that's a contested Gosh. shot. It is slightly early as well. Not too much green timing here on the Buck side. Yes, it is desperation time. So we're going to see some probably wild shot attempts. But you have to think to yourself, Knicks playing a great game. Definitely going to close this one out. Yeah, unfortunately for Jay Sauce, not able to get some of these jump shots to go as we're going to have Carl Anthony Towns pulling up from the three line as it's extended into a 12 point lead for Jasmine and the Knicks as we are falling apart on the side of Jay Sauce here. Unable to get much of anything going in the fourth. We do get a dunk from Giannis, but it's just a little bit too late. Jay Saw is going to play the full court pressure. It's going to force a risky pass, but Mikhail Bridges makes the catch. You must think to yourself, Nick should definitely just dribble out as much time as possible here. Put up a probably a tough shot at the end of the shot clock there. It's going to be the tough shot. It's going to be a miss. Only 45 seconds for the Bucks to work, but down 10. The jump shot won't come out from Gary Trent Jr. Dame's going to pull that one slightly early, however, so it won't go in. And that's going to be all she wrote for this game. Mostly. Yeah, this game, unfortunately, is going to be over. I know. It's going to be New York unless we get something crazy. But 25 seconds left. We're going to just try to get some He's of these practicing. shots up. He's trying to get the feel for the shots because yeah. this game has not gone according to plan. Um, obviously, seconds. we've seen a switch in offense from Jay Sauce in comparison to the first game. Opting to shoot a lot more from the field as opposed to playing the pick and roll, playing the small ball, playing for two. Oh, yeah, okay. Not this, what we want to see. We need a, He needs to, to really take this time to practice those shots. You know, a free throw. You can't be making those two earlies on the free throws. Yeah, I must agree with you there, Daniel. Knicks are going to dribble out the ball. Final score going to be 55 <laughs> to 46 like for Jazzman. As we are going to be headed to an all-important series deciding game three here, ladies and gentlemen. Who would you guys say from those first two games would you have as a favorite going to the last game? Uh, I've seen Jordan. He's he's capable of the comeback. We haven't seen Jasmine in a position where he needed the comeback and then make the comeback. Jordan's made the comeback in game one. He lost game two, so now he has to make the comeback in game three. He's capable of it. He just has to pull it back. I have my money on JSOS for sure. I mean, we'd love to see JSOS come around with the win, but uh -oh. going into game three, obviously you'd have to say Jasmine having the momentum, mm -hmm. able to get great offense on the side of Carl Anthony Towns and Jalen Brunson. Not much of what we saw in the first game. And for Jaysos, we're going to have to see him get Giannis back in the paint as that was his most effective way of scoring mm -hmm. for most of the first game. I must agree with Ricky here. Giannis is definitely going to be the shining light or the dark night here in this last game. He's going to have to do everything or he's going to do absolutely nothing. And Jay Sauce has to use Giannis accordingly, has to get his, uh, get good minutes in, you know, can't give him too much exhaustion early on in the game, get some timings in when maybe Carl Anthony Towns isn't on the floor, feed Giannis in the paint, get mm -hmm. down low. OG and Obi can't really stop be honest but on the flip side I mean Carl Anthony Towns found so much success in that second game I think the backdoor cuts are really a problem I think you just have to keep that fight in you 100% of the time we've been seeing the slowdown too much the slowdown keeps coming in at some point or another in the game and you're when you're not confident in your plays when you're hesitating you're slowing down you're stopping I know you guys value the threes but we've seen at some point you have to be your own coach and say stop it cut it out Drop the threes, just take the shots you know you can land. I feel like if he took maybe 50% less of those threes and just went for the easy twos. But, Daniil, let me game. ask you this. What if he hit 50% more of those threes? He didn't, though. And he wasn't. <laughs> by, the, by the 10th, the you should have been like, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> 
Yeah, obviously, but by that point, when you're down and there's only a little bit of le time left on the clock, we're mm. only playing five minutes a quarter here. Absolutely. I mean, you have to make the most out of your time, especially yeah. down two possessions. 100%. It's really hard to battle back, especially wanna, with a little bit of time on the clock. You have to work for it. I want to ask you guys, actually, that's something I didn't really consider. It's like the fighting back and getting those stops, is that like a miracle play or is this to be expected? I mean, obviously, it's expected to play defense, right? Like, mm. you, you want to play the defense. You want to get the stop. I mean, when you have the ball in this game, you're expected to score. Like, okay. it's more rare for you to get a stop than it is for you to get a score. In theory. So, ideally, when you're playing defense and you get the stop, you need to take advantage. For and sure. a couple of the times where we had stops for the side of j in this previous game. There were threes. Game, there were threes. I didn't it go was, in. It wasn't even the threes. Sometimes he would drive it and, you know, he would just be early on a layup and miss it with Peyton Pritchard. Or, you know, he'd be throw it away or something of the sort. And, you know, those are very important moments in these games. And, and it, that was, I think, what the difference maker was mm -hmm. for Mr. j -Sauce. To put it simply, he's just not hitting his shots. I mean, that's a good way to put it, Daniil. He needs to hit those three balls if he wants to win the game, but he's just having a rough time. But I feel like if he does knock down his first couple of threes in this game, it's going to flip the game on its head because if he's hitting those no threes... No more threes. Oh, oh, okay. I know you're saying no more threes, but, but the momentum swinger when you're hitting your shots and... And the These defense opens up. I'm a fourer. I'm a, I, I think four is more than three. If Two you can twos. draw the defense to the perimeter, <laughs> that opens up the lane. If you can draw the defense out to block and defend this shot, the three-point shot, assuming you're making them. But he's not. But when but you what do if he make is? them, it opens up the possibility of driving the lane, and you mm. can have more people pushing into the lane, mm. cutting into the And basket, getting the easy two points. Getting the easy two points. It opens up the whole offense. But... Of course, it's all down to making the shots. I think it's like playing for alts in, all, in Overwatch, right? You have to have, like, if you have three alts, maybe it makes sense to just play one, even though you're going to be down in alts, you're forcing them to use one of their own. It's, it's, it's the momentum thing. It's all about the timing. Don't look at me like that. The point I'm making, it's about the timing, okay? If we're down, we can't afford to go for twos because it's not getting us anywhere. What we want to be fighting for is any kind of advantage. We're not fighting to tie. We're not fighting to be down by two. We're fighting to tie. We're fighting to be up. That's a good way to put it. Fighting to be up, I like those but final no more words. threes. We can shoot some threes uh, and make them. If we're mi missing them, though, I mean, the Milwaukee Bucks personnel, perhaps not the best three-point shooting yeah. Arsenal team there is. Um, only Damian Lillard, kind of. <laughs> Torian Prince, no, he's yeah, not. Yeah, get Torian Prince, Prince off the court. This guy, guy, how is he starting? I don't know how he's starting. I mean... Get Bobby Portis in there. Let Bobby him play Portis the three. Who is this Bobby Portis guy? You seem to be a big fan. <laughs> Bobby Portis, he's so good from the mid-range. <laughs> Daniil, you don't understand. I don't. Enlighten he's, me. He's, he is the <laughs> hope and pride of Milwaukee. Is that Milwaukee. it? No, Bo Bobby Portis, oh. if you saw Bobby Portis, he's got these big eyes, bro. He stares into your soul. He's like with the goggles? He's, he's goggles. Ah. Uh, he's goggles. But you told him to get off the court just a second no, ago. I would, yeah, but in this game, you know, Bobby's not the scorer. Yeah. Bobby's just there. Bobby. Okay. Bobby's just Bobby. He gets rebounds. He plays some defense. But the mid-range, you know, it's a tough skill to get in 2K. Shooting those mid-range fadeaways is just not the, an effective shot in this game. It's more, much more efficient to have the open backdoor cuts, mm. to have the wide open threes that Giannis has been able to generate. But we're about to start game three. There is a little bit of a pause. You can see both players getting ready to get... Underway, That's let's, let's get some predictions from you guys. Let's get score predictions. Bobby Portis, say! Exact score predictions? Exact score predictions. Give me 60 to 55. J-Sauce. I want to see... Uh, 60 to 55. I'm thinking third game, these guys are warmed up. They're no, they know what they need to do now. And they know where know their they shots are at. They need to lock them in. I think this is going to be the highest scoring game yet. Do you think do you think there's going to be adjustments made based off of the previous performances or do you think they're going to go in assuming they're playing optimal? I feel like in most situations you want to assume the optimal play from yourself and from your opponents. But we've seen enough at this point that both these players can make educated guesses in this game 3 about what them themselves and their opponents are capable of. I want to know what they're going to try to do to tip things in their favor. But we're seeing first possession going the way of Milwaukee. Giannis trying to get things open up for his teammates. This game is starting off hot already. Yeah, it's going to be David to shoot that 
that wide open three. I think that's a shot you Shoot must take. Back. There it is, wide open bang and bang a rang. We need more threes. We need more threes. <laughs> I've been telling you guys. And it opens up the offense. Now watch. He's <laughs> going to defend. He's going to defend the three now, Daniil. When when Milwaukee gets the ball back, you'll notice he's going to spread out the defense, and that's going to open up the drive lane. Whoa! Turn it over. Whoa! On the side of Jazzman in New York. Yeah, you can hear the fans the clapping in the background. The fans are going crazy off that turnover. We got Bucks fans on a line here. As now it's going to be Damian Lillard bringing the ball up the floor. He got the three on the last possession. Jan is going to have the backdoor cut. Oh. That's such a very dangerous pass. Maybe an alley -oop attempt there would have been the worst attempt. It was going to be Mikhail Bridges. Give it to the corner. Jill Brunson shoots the mid range. It's a brick. The board comes out to Torian Prince as Bucks Back. start off well, but it's going to be oh, a turnover no, no. in oh. the backcourt. This is already such a scrappy game. It's back and no, forth. No, we want to see on the side of j -Sauce. They're pigs gonna fighting get, in mud. Yeah, going to give up the ball on our own side of the court. That's Not terrible. Good. That's terrible. As it's going to be a backdoor drive, and it's easy, easy points for Carl Anthony Towns. He's been the problem in game two, and now in game three, he's looking to put the Knicks on his back. Yeah, Bucks. Unfortunate, off to a hard, a very hot start, but just a couple bad turnovers. Gonna cost you in the end of this. Giannis Lillard. failed pick. I mean, Giannis has Josh Hart on him. Just feed him the ball, get in the post, and you could get something going with only three seconds to go. I mean, what is that shot? That is a terrible possession from the Milwaukee Bucks. As it's going to be Mikhail Bridges on the fast break. I mean, we are seeing what some are we doing? very interesting shots. But Ojeda oh, Novi gets a wide open three. Misses Carl Anthony to Towns. It. Is getting every single get rebound. Out. Josh Hart going to get it at the top of the key. Guarded by Giannis on to the Kumpo. The pick from Ojananobi is good. The backdoor cuts there, but Giannis is there for the defense, and it's going to be a fadeaway shot from Oji. It's going to miss, and the Bucks have the ball. It's going to be now Giannis on the fast break. Nobody to stop it. Gets it. It doesn't go in. This is a low-scoring affair. Okay. Unfortunately, my prediction looking like a disaster as nobody's able to get the ball to go in the hoop. Uh, Unbelievable amount of bricks coming out thus far. Is Jalen Brunson going to drive? Thank you. He didn't even jump. We at least see what it looks like for the basket to go through the hoop again. <laughs> a reminder. As we're going to have Giannis bringing the ball back up the court. J-Sauce oh. going to turn it over again. Giannis just swings the ball. Jump at least. Thank oh. you. Oh Thank God. you. Blocked his whole family, but he got the, no rebound. All right. Oh. Oh my God! This rebound. We had five people in the paint, able to secure this rebound. Giannis gonna look for the mid range. He's got two people on him. Decides to opt back. Someone's got to move. Looking for the moves. Three, Someone four. Has to move. And there's Passes the Passes it. Shoot the ball. Okay, thank Come you. On. If he lost that, that I would have lost it. I mean, that's a great bucket from the Bucks. They finally. I mean, it was like two minutes without a basket. That's that's tragic. But they do have the lead, which is not something we saw J-Sauce have in the past. Couple games, Brook Lopez, beautiful contest. Damian Lillard, his oh, hands oh, fell what? off his body. There what? can't grab the rebound. And he's going to be defending Jalen Brunson at the top of the key here. Another free possession for the Knicks. The drive to the paint. Oh! John is flying through the air. Josh Hart going to have the open three. It is no good as Torian Prince is there for the contest. This is, the, this is what we need. This is going to be the momentum shift. I feel like Jordan's going to find a nice, clean three or a huge dunk to bring himself back into a nice, more comfortable lead and break this game wide open. That's how I see it. We're not going to see that from Gary Trent Jr. as he decides to swing. What was that? Oh, what was across that? the court and turns it over again for Milwaukee. Josh Unbelievable. Hart going to throw a dang Unbelievable. the J Sauce as he hits a three from the f I don't even know what that says. <laughs> from Forum. Versailles. That might as well be in Paris. Oh, my God. What is that? The layup on the other end. Milwaukee starting to fall apart for J Sauce. Jazzman has all the momentum in the world right now. I have a theory, gentlemen. We were on the right timeline. We got shifted into the wrong one as everything is going completely How awry. Do we not get the rebound, Daniil. We're missing every rebound. He's huge. That guy was tiny. He was a thimble, and he still couldn't get the rebound. What is happening? Can you? Can, he's not even going to jump. That guy's not even going to try. Oh, and guys. Well, and there was a missed shot. Big surprise in this game. Another missed shot as we have made. It to 12 ah. points in the first quarter combined. Jan is going to set the screen for Damian Lillard. Going to get the pass back. Let's go. There is the slam dunk. I would have loved to see.
Messi and seven Aaron to seven, seven, seven to seven. Seven to Neil, you have that one right. It's gonna be one final shot here for the Knicks to take the lead going to the next quarter. But with how this game's gone so far, I'd be very surprised if the ball goes inside the bucket. OG and Obi though, gonna dunk it on top of Giannis. Seven, seven seconds, seconds to go. Dunking Still enough Giannis. time to run a play here. Damian Lillard gonna pass it. Brooke Lopez has the ball. He's Why gonna take it. Do on something! The and the shot won't oh go God. in. First quarter, Knicks lead nine to seven. I gotta get this out of the way, gentlemen. I feel like it should be hard coded that your character cannot dunk on Giannis. How is that even possible? I don't know, but as we saw in the last possession there, Brooke Lopez gonna get the ball in transition. And just Why? throw it. Why? Why does Brooke Lopez have the ball? <laughs> he didn't know either. He didn't know what to Why do with it. Why is he on the court? <laughs> No, we need him on the court. We need him on the court. He's grabbing some rebounds and some key blocks, but it. other than that, he should not be touching the ball on the offensive side of the ball. And there is an Beautiful. easy bucket for the Knicks. They take a two-possession lead for the first time in this game. Another thing, General, that I got to point out for sure is we, we poke and prod. We make fun at certain things, but at the end of the day, playing at such a high level, a lot of mistakes can happen very frequently. It's a very chaotic game, very unpredictable, and sometimes things slip away it's very frequent it can happen a lot yeah unfortunately jesus a little bit of the same of what we were seeing last game not able to get the shot going goes for the block doesn't get it neither does he get the rebound as new york gonna pick up their 18th million offensive rebound this game and we're gonna foul on the take give him the two points give him the free throw Jasmine is looking unstoppable thus far. I must agree with you, Ricky. I mean, Jace Haas cannot find anything. There is a rebound found, though. I just want to point out, Knicks have doubled the field goal attempts that the Bucks have purely from those offensive rebounds. Bobby Portis pops it off to Giannis. Easy there two points. Go. As I said, when Cat's not on the floor, he Giannis the ball in the post. He'll get open, and he'll put the ball in the basket. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. One step at a time. One step at a time. Yeah, Carl Anthony Towns, when he's not on the floor, obviously the defensive pressure from the side of New York is not really there, but we're going to have a turnover for Milwaukee as we're Giannis. swinging it up. Pass it to Giannis in the middle. Over everyone. Rebeam. Time out, no, no. New York. Oh, they need that. After that shot, you got to take a couple of seconds to cool down, recover. They're boiling. They're reaching their boiling point. These little ice cubes can't handle the heat. We see, we see we're going to swap. Big Bobby ports into the lineup. Big Bobby. BB. Bobby with that too. As we're going to have a timeout for New York here. Jasmine looking to recollect himself as I believe he has no points thus far in this quarter. Or no. He has two. a dunk. He has four points thus far in this quarter. But giving up all kinds of baskets back as Jesus able to put together some offense for the first time this game. Finally, Jesus has found some offense to go his way. It's going to be Jalen Brunson back into the game. Gets a screen from Josh Hart, has the open mid-range. Decides he wants to go into the paint, but Giannis is going to be there to shut that one oh. down. But it's a great move from Jalen Brunson. But he takes the mid-range, gets his own rebound, Woo. and gets fouled. The Bucks refuse to grab rebounds as Knicks and have two free throws. This guy again. Jalen Brunson is about six foot nothing which is below average by about six inches in the NBA. Really? How is he getting a rebound? Lord knows. <laughs> he don't. It's like that guy dunking on Giannis. I don't even know how these things are happening. It's, it's possible. Again, gentlemen, Game at time. high levels like this, why did he pass it? Why did he pass it? That's why, did why he we pass pass the ball, because we have Giannis. He just wanted to pad his stats. True. And Good assist knows, from Dame Lillard coming he, out. He knows that Giannis, when he gets down low, 0% chance to win here. Let's see if Mikal Bridges finds the pass over to Carl oh, Anthony believe. Towns. Again, just zero interior defense against Carl Anthony Towns. Game. You can see field goals, 55% to 37. We're down four. Giannis going to have two people on him. Pat Connaughton no shoots way. a contested three ball. He's going to miss it as the next grab possession again. Yeah, unfortunately, the story of this game thus far has been rebounds as we have three rebounds total for Milwaukee. Oh my god. Nice. And that is oh one more mercy. as we get a turnover. Not a turnover but we get the ball Giannis going for the pass to Damian Lillard get past his defender and one bucket. Woo! Damian Lillard gonna get the Bucks back on the board. He can make this a one point game. Don't what time this. is it? What time is it? It's Bobby Portis time. time. Bobby Portis. Come on. He's on the court. We're having success. I don't know if he is. I don't know if he is. He might have been subbed out. He's right there, isn't he? 
Oh, yeah, Bobby Portis. Tries to break over the screen. Jalen Brunson gonna get in the paint. Giannis Antetokounmpo with his long arms are, is gonna get the stop. And down. he's gonna get the rebound. Running it straight down. Gives it to Dame Lillard. Giannis Shoot gets that. it back. Takes it around Josh Hart in the post. Jump from Constantine's comes out. Giannis gonna be here on the roll. Can we find the alley-oop? No one's gonna find the pass right to him. Against three defenders. Can we get anything off the shot? Is in and Bucks take the lead back. There we go. That's the kind of offense we need to come out from Jay Sauce. Able to get it done in multiple oh. possessions in succession. Oh, this is not a good matchup if you're on the side of Milwaukee as Dame Lillard going to get dunked on almost by Carl Anthony Towns. Just going to float it up, get the two free points, as it's going to be a one-point New York lead for Jazz. Now I don't want to hear anything about threes, okay? This is... Shoot, shoot the three! three. <laughs> no! <laughs> they got to go for it. Strive straight to play. Maintain the lead. If he goes for a three, misses it. It's huge. It's devastating. Got to go for the dunk. And it's going to be 20-19. to 19. It's going to be the timeout call. Bucks taking the lead by one. You guys are unbelievable. Oh, man. That's what you want to see coming out of Milwaukee as they oh, the are on. able to get a bunch of points as you see Bobby, Bobby Portis is the best player on the floor. Bobby Portis. That's scary. This is how you know you're in trouble if, if you're we, on the box. If you're on the box, you need the ball in Bobby Portis' hands. True. Right about now. I feel like right now is when you should be fighting for your advantage, not getting your best guy off the court. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. I mean, they're tired. This is where we want to rest. They need some Gatorade. One minute left. You're already up one. Just trying to keep it close here with your starters out. There, and if he can get a couple stops here on the box side and grab these rebounds, he will put himself in a phenomenal spot to Close out the first half. Bobby Portis, the defense, Bobby beautiful Portis contest, gets the to board. Get that rebound as well, man. Bobby Portis, Beep. I told you. That's the difference maker when you have your bench in. You get your best what? guys off the court. What? Eight oh. second violation. Doc Rivers will not be happy with what just happened. Eight second violation, end of the second quarter, one point game. That is going to be a lot of suicides at practice next time. That's not what you want to see coming out of the a professional basketball player ever. Oh my God, completely crossed out. Not even going to go for the net, going to go for the fadeaway shot. Not even a three, but he went for it anyways because he doesn't even care. 21 to 20. Jay Sauce needs to get this way back. Yeah, Jazz, Jazzman with a little bit of swagger on that shot, able to shake the oh. defender. Pat Connaughton from range. DeLon Wright cannot no. find the wide open three ball. That's one you want to shoot, but DeLon Wright a bit off there. It's a bench guy, no? It's a bench guy, but when you have the open shots, you pray that it goes in. It didn't go in that time. Has me Jalen Brunson on the drive again. Just it will blow by one. Nice pass out to Josh Hart. Josh Hart now going to look for something on the offense. Goes around his defender. Pat Connaughton is there, but there is a big body in the paint for the Knicks still great defense from Bobby the Bucks. Portis they get the, the ball five Portis. seconds. Jay Sauce needs to go quickly here. Can he find a good Shoot look here Bobby before Portis. the quarter's over? The line right gonna pull it from deep. It's Ooh. in and out as Knicks take the lead heading into Bobby the Bobby would have got that for sure. I saw it. Yeah, I, I don't know it. why he goes for the outlet. Bobby Portis from range. Come on, gentlemen. It's a complete slobber knocker out there. I one more thing I want to stress. I don't want to make it seem like we're making fun of these players. These guys are top of the line. Best of the best. We're not making fun of the players controlling the game. We're making fun of the players in the game because they have a huge <laughs> effect on whether or not the players controlling them have success. So, again, these players are phenomenal, but when they're controlling dolts like that, it's hard to have faith in the process. I don't know what Jay Sauce cooked up on that defensive position. He decided to let him score and play zero defense type of possession and that's not a good possession but that's a good play to Bobby Portis gets down below under the rim and finds the poster I Let's mean that's go. our guy Bobby Portis MVP you feed him the ball under the under the bucket he's gonna go up he's gonna go hard at the rim he's gonna get you the two points and right now it's just him against the world and a screen is gonna prevent from finding success it's gonna go up and it's gonna go up and over into the net three point lead for Jasmine. It's I, I hate to say it, but you actually do have to lie on Bobby Porter. It's a foul is uh, gonna be found. Foul charge to the side of New York. Gonna be a reaching foul, I believe. Yeah, so it's not gonna be too much of a bad possession there. DeLon Wright has the ball. I mean, Pat Connaughton, a good three-point shoot, wide open, but we Thank love you. these backdoor cuts. Another dunk comes out wheel. for the Bucks. The backdoor wheel has been the bread and butter for J-Sauce. It's gotten him the most points. If he can set, find a way to set it up, it's just gonna work every time. 
Absolutely, and now Jalen Brunson running to the paint. Ooh. Carl Anthony Towns simply too big. Get off! You can see him flexing foul. after that one. Might have been a foul, but the refs are on the Bucks side as they are playing at home. So maybe a bit of a call to Vegas they're made by the Bucks. Ah, now let's see that's if they can get a comeback going. They can't. A turnover into OJ and Obi Sands. Carl Anthony Towns rim running to the paint. Oh. Gets the layup to go. It's a five-point lead for the Knicks. Five whole points, Ricky. Yeah, what that's do you the do? biggest lead coming out from the side of New York. Able to get a good stop on the side of Jazzman. Able to turn it over. And oh, it's good. That door. Points. There's that backdoor play we're talking about as he swings the wheel route, as we call in football, the wheel route. Run from the outside, come down the middle, catch the ball, score the ball. Come on. Jalen Brunson, though, on the flip side, just getting such easy buckets, it feels like. Milwaukee Bucks with zero interior defense, but I want to point out, Giannis, Dame Lillard are not on the floor, and this game is still close. I think once the big shots come back into the game, that's when Jay Sauce makes his run. You know, Ricky, I'll tell you where the... Oh, I had another turnover. They're gonna no, go for no, the three, because no, he can afford no, it. Okay. Josh Hart! Oh. What the hell? No. Unbelievable! This, as he went for the jump completely early, not even gonna find it. Six seconds on the shot clock and that's six more than he needs he doesn't even need the shot he's gonna go for it regardless finding the layup and oh my god and the rebound into a dunk it's yeah. unbelievable it's a slaughter out there such has been the story of the game as we're gonna have a timeout for the bucks i just can't see how we're missing these rebounds we have three people in the paint josh hart one of the smallest players for new york going to be able to come up with a rebound and then they put up another horrible shot and somehow they get another offensive board. Call Worms Anthony to the Towns. We, we, but hey, uh, just for a second there on the timeout I saw we were, I think, putting some real oh, yeah. back on the court. So we were playing with a handicap now, coming back full force. We can't let this game get any more. We got big man 34 here on the Shoot court again, game. passing it back and a miss. Giannis. For those. He's under the plate, going Shoot back out, game. going one more for the three, still not finding it. Two rebounds in a row two opportunities one at the three gentlemen zero you got a lot of defending to do for these three plays uh unfortunately not able to come down with what he wants to be able to come down with as he gets two possessions on one possession and unable That's to come wide open shot points. and now we're not even playing defense on the three ball as it's going to be a 10 point lead for jasmine and the knicks it, with one minute and 30 seconds left in the third. I mean, and there's a turnover from Dame no Gala time. Of the too. ball is going to be Nick's ball, and it looks like Jay Sauce has completely fallen apart here in the third quarter. Have the Bucks ever won an NBA championship in real life? Yes. yes. How many times? Once. once. I understand. Well, more than once, but in recent history. In recent history. I understand why. With this, with this sort of similar team. As you could see why it's only one. The New York Knicks are completely plummeting the Bucks into the ground. It's a 12-point lead. Jay Sauce going to need a miracle and a bit more to bring this one back. Unfortunately, Daniil, I'm going to have to break the bad news to you. If Jay Sauce has any chance of winning this game, he needs to put up threes. And there's a good shot, but not able to get it to go. As New York going to get their 100 millionth rebound. As we have zero points coming out of Milwaukee in the past two minutes and 15. Seconds. Yeah, not a stat line you want to see. Jay that, Sauce wow. can't find anything. Torian Prince, when he's handling the ball, that's how you know things are getting dire. Damian Lillard finds the pass to Giannis. I'm surprised we haven't seen a single alley oop so far. I mean, who can get up there with Giannis? I don't think anyone can. There's an easy pass, easy rim run, two points, but could be, could it be just a little bit too late here for the Bucks? I feel like they have the height advantage. They have a man advantage. They have. Th these guys have been on the court for so long. They're gas on the side of the Knicks. They just need to play the aggression and play for the stops. But no, now we're at to 40 to 28. I think we should go for the twos, playing the defense aggressively, and just keep getting those conversions. If I'm Jay Sauce, I need to go two for one here. I need to put up a shot and quick. Unfortunately, oh. not able to get up a shot right away as he's going to have the last possession, Mr. Jazzman, of this quarter. Wide open three from the corner. Just not Gary able. Trent Jr. and a good three point shooter cannot get down to fall. Last possession of the quarter going to be on the Knicks. Jalen Brunson going to have the rim runner wide open, oh. and that is an easy. Easy two points. Knicks go up 14. Throw it up, Giannis. Throw it up. Passing it back and 
just giving less yeah. distance for the shot. I mean, not really much of a choice for JSOS there. Get it in the hands of your best shooter. Shoot it up. Try to get those three points back. But it's going to be a 14-point deficit going into the fourth, and it's not looking good for our boy Jason. Very good. Yeah, I must agree with Ricky. I mean, 14 points in a real basketball game is a lot to overcome, but in a five-minute game of 2K, it is uh, so hard. You can see we have 28 points in the entire game. It took us the entire first half to score 14, as now just scoring 14 is going to be the tough part, and holding the Knicks to no points is going to be nearly impossible. Yeah, the odds of JSOS coming back in this game looking slim to none, but, you know, we've seen crazier things happen. There's a stop. As we're going to get a stop here. Swing it up fast. We need There's to get the straight for it. As we're going to get a two-point dunk coming up on the side of JSOS. He knows the strat. He has a sense for what I'm putting down. He's picking it up. Just play aggressive, play for the steals, and just go for the twos, 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 twos. Drop the three. I mean, if he can down. get the stops, Daniel, if he can get the stops, these twos will add up, and he can maybe cut this deficit down hopefully force him over. To oh, there's and there's another one. The turnover. Is that my boy Bobby Portis? Run it down. Run it down. Go for it. Go oh, as we're going to throw it away. Unfortunately, we need to play fast offense, and we're going to get dunked on on the other end as Jazzman going to be able to stop that flow from JSOS and get two points in transition. Yeah, Jazzman has really turned it up in these last few games and winning by quite a large margin each time. The game is still far from over. Wide Shoot open that. three, the lawn right. I mean, we these shots that. need to draw. Bobby oh. Portis does get the offensive rebound, has a couple open men, has one more pass. The lawn right completely open. So is Bucamp. Connington now going to be wide open. There's a the shot from Bucamp, but it is going nice. to be a beautiful shot. Just waiting a bit too much to maybe pull the trigger on these wide open players. Yeah, we just need like nine more of those. We need stops. Daniil, we need stops and three balls. Unfortunately, the two-point game is no longer going to be able to win us this game oh. as we're going to give up another pick and roll timeout for the Bucks. 13-point lead for Jazzman. If you're a Jazzman fan, it's time to wrap it up. The way I see this, it is, it is, this is actually so doable. The way that Jordan's been playing on the defense, at least in the last few minutes, it's been really solid. It's just the offense where he's dropping it. He has to, if he can come back in these last few minutes of this game with threes in his pocket and a dream in the sky, he can find it. He just has to, again, get those steals, get those threes. I'm on the, I'm on the three boat now. You don't have a chance for the twos anymore. It has to be the threes. Well, he just has to sink them. Welcome aboard, Daniil, as we're going to get back. I, into game here. Dame Lillard gonna swing the ball. Two-point jam in the mix. That's the the, the, the Daniil specialty. Woo! 16 points for Giannis in the paint today. Yeah, Not I mean, that. that's what you expect from Giannis, you know, getting his big body into the paint and taking all kinds of havoc. Carl Anthony Towns thought he was gonna pop that three. You could see the Knicks getting a bit confident, put up some good shots, but have to give it to Jason. He's only been waiting for nice. good shots, but there is a good turnover. Giannis should just take this right at Jalen Brunson's head. We'll pass over to Dame Lillard. Who's oh. gonna get fouled? The shot hey, won't hey. go, but that's a stoppage of the clock and two points over these to the two, Bucks. These two points are crucial as we need to hit both of these. We need it. We need it more than anything possible. Finding both. Now this game is not gone yet. With Full court stops, pressure. He's been oh, fighting. we oh have an open God. man on the other end of the court. Giannis. Giannis coming oh. back. Oh. Slight lapse in the defense the as net. we were playing full court pressure. Just forgot about the one deep. Player. Shoot, Dionis. He's going to not shoot it, and it's going to be more time burnt off the clock here for the Bucks. You want to get these quick possessions going, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case here. Giannis will try and drive a wide open shot. Demon Lillard, that's a three pointer. They're eight point lead. I mean, still, it's, close. it's possible. Anything is we only possible. Have two minutes left, gentlemen. I know your hopes are high, but they are. It, it's still a bit of a mountain to climb, as we're almost going to get a turnover. Unfortunately, that. not able to. Tried to play the pick, tried to get it off the pass, not able to get the defense working as it's a 10 point lead now for Jazzman. We need to get some threes up and we need them now. Dave, shoot that. We need it to go. No, it it's won't just, go. So unfortunate. Jordan's playing this like he has the advantage. He's burning his own clock. And we don't have the time to do that. He has to find these threes. He has to find them fast. If you're going to shoot with number zero, make the shot. Why wait? Yeah, a bit of a bit of a hard challenge for Mr. Jordan here to come back in this one as it's a 10 point lead with a minute 25 left in the fourth as he's going to put up a horrible shot time clock violation but I mean it's 
not the end of the world for the Knicks here. Josh Hart's getting ready to check into the game, try and play some good defense. But down 10, a minute 20, I mean, we're going to need some miracle above miracles here. You need a three ball to drop early here. Jan is going to actually take the easy two. Doesn't look like he puts up the shot in more valuable time, burning off the clock. Dame Lillard gets free off the screen, jumps off to Giannis, looks for gets the fouled. shot. He does get fouled, two free throws, but at this point, kind of want the three balls to be the Eight option. Eight-point deficit. Eight-point deficit if he gets two here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you just had to say it, Daniil. This guy. He's going to miss the this first guy. one. Giannis, an all-important possession. And unfortunately, just much of what we've seen thus far this game, on the important possessions, Jesus just not able to show up as Jazzman with a nine-point lead and the ball looking to close this one out. Yeah, Jalen Brunson going to have one-on-one -on -one against Brook Lopez. Oh! Giannis does come over for the SWAT, but it's still going to be Knicks a basketball. Nice defense there from Jason. I would have loved to see that a bit earlier into the game when it was a tiny bit closer, but yeah. still going to be Knicks a ball here. It's going to be Mikhail Bridges getting the inbound here. Five seconds and counting. Brook Lopez on Jalen Brunson. It's a good matchup for Jalen. He's going to take it to the rack. Nice defense from Damian Lillard. Gets the rebound as well. Saints look to push the break. 40 seconds Shoot and counting. Needs a bucket here. No, he wants any no. chance. I mean, both players refusing to move. Damian Lillard has the open three. He I'm surprised shoot he didn't shoot, shoot that shot. If he has any chance of winning this game. Make the shot! Anything. You need something. It was just an extra 10 seconds for nothing. Yeah, as we're going to have a five second differential on the game clock, shot clock, as we're going to just have a bit of a frustration boil over, it seems, for the side of j -Sauce with the foul here on Jazzman. Uh, going to have an inbound here for the side of Jazzman as this could possibly be the last possession as campaign looks for his first points of the game doesn't find it there and this might just be the end of the game here jay sauce will look for something but it's going to be a turnover and the knicks are going to find the reverse sweep here jasmine finds the 2-1 victory as he moves to four and two on the season jay sauce down to three and three yeah really hard fought game for both players but in the end jasmine Doing the jazz hands and dazzling J Sauce out of a recovery. I mean, one. yeah, the jazz hands, they're just better on the offensive boards. Um, so many times throughout this game, we just saw New York able to get those second chance points, getting the rebound oh. multiple times on the same possession, sometimes even. This is just an, a recipe for disaster if you're on the side of J Sauce. I just want to say, I feel like. If we went back and just looked at over that last game, especially especially the last one, if we took all of those turnovers from J Sauce, turned them from failed threes into twos, I think we might I think we might have won that. Yeah, but then again, the rebounds, the rebounds what cost you problem. the uh, the turnovers, the transition, f the fouls, not good on the side of J Sauce, and inevitably unable to come up with the victory, mm. but. Congratulations to the side of Jazzman. Absolutely. Able to come back from a 1-0 deficit. Well done. Absolutely. Yeah, and again, I want to I want to emphasize because we've been having our fun up here, gentlemen, but of course, these players are really solid all around. They're playing in a collegiate league ECAC. It's no joke. These guys are playing at the top of their game and there's so much that's unpredictable. You can't there's nothing certain on the court. And while there's plays that we're questioning, there's things we don't understand, at the end of the day, they truly do know better than us. So hopefully we're going to get to pick the brain of Jay Sauce as we're getting him coming up to the desk in just a second. But gentlemen, overall, final thoughts on that game? I mean, props to Jazzman, able to bring it back from the depths. Unfortunately, not the best showing from our boy Jay Sauce. Uh, great first game, but just unable to pull it pull it together in the end there yeah and uh, you know we have uh, the interview ready so let's uh, welcome jay sauce to the desk come join us welcome, uh, welcome here hey, what's welcome. up what's up a great game there very t well fought three mm. game series unfortunately you come up close yeah. what do you think jasmine did so well to turn things around in game two and three um big things i hammer with uh my players and my team uh is recognizing what your opponent's doing early on find those weaknesses find those strengths learn how to capitalize on them and that's what he went did so much better going into game two and three was uh see what i was doing well see what i wasn't doing well and immediately just capitalize on everything yeah and you know in that game three you 
had a very good start, a very yeah. low scoring first quarter, but through two, it was a very close game. But then yeah. the offensive rebounds just kind of were yeah. heartbreaking. And uh, what do you think the adjustments from Jazzman were that allowed him to get so many offensive rebounds? Um, he just, uh, well, he had uh, he had really strong uh, centers and positioning uh, ready to uh, be able to jam the ball in when he needed to. Um, and then even when it was uh, on my turn to be on offense, he had just the right player positioning, knew where to you know lock down the shooters and where to be for rebounds. And yep. uh, one question for me, we've been mm -hmm. having a little bit of an internal debate up here on the okay, fence, okay. okay, the threes versus the twos. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts on some of those plays, especially in that last game, going for those threes, like yeah, the, the net wide open, it's, yeah. waiting, it's ready for it to go straight, and then you <laughs> yeah. go back and with the three. What's, what's going on there? Well, you know, there are definitely lots of times where I, I make a, you know, silly little mistake. I wouldn't say that, but like um, uh, I know, hindsight, I know. hindsight. Hindsight for sure. I uh, got to hit those uh, 100%, but uh, towards the end of the game, when I'm down by nine, uh, only a few plays left on the clock, yeah. I got to get the threes to, Absolutely. you know, yeah. have the more points, um, especially when he's coming back and driving twos. For sure. Yeah, and I was trying to tell Daniil, if you can get the three shot going, it helps space out the defense. And when the defense spaces out, it opens up the lanes. Mm -hmm. For sure. And you can start running that, what was so successful for Mr. J-Sauce here, that back end pick and roll, that, that swing, the wheel route, mm -hmm. I like to call it, the wheel route in football. <laughs> yes. It was very successful. Um, yeah, what would you say was the problem in that last game with the, uh, with the shots? Like, mm. just... Bad timing, uh, like just not the best angles. Um, that, well, it definitely just does come down to the timing. Uh, we're on Hall of Fame mode, so the timing's yeah. got to be like Perfect. precise. It's yeah. it really is uh, just a hair of time for that green. And um, with updates recently, like you don't have to hit a green shot anymore to get threes uh, like you used to. So. Not to say it got easier, obviously, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a very thin line that you got to hit for those threes, and uh, that's where it really cracked and, on me. And hey, you know what, Jordan? It's been a little bit of doom and gloom up here on yeah. the desk. I want to ask you, if you're playing against Jasmine, mm -hmm. I feel like you know you would come out on top, but I want you to articulate that and why. Why do you know you're going to come out on top if you played against Jasmine again? Um, definitely, you know, got the film to look back on and, uh, really take a look at what he was doing more so that was helping him capitalize on his offense. Um, obviously we saw that pick and roll a lot and yeah. figuring out how to lock that down and stop it will be, uh, um, uh, definitely the next big step and obviously going into playoffs, um, we'll have even harder teams, even tougher challenges and more plays like that p appearing. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, as the season goes on, you know, you're only going to get better. Those three balls are only going to start yep. dropping. How are you feeling so far through uh, a good chunk of the season? You're three and three playing some very, very tough mm -hmm. opponents, but putting on good performance. How are you feeling going into the deeper stage of the season? Well, we got our uh, last uh, week of the regular season next week. So uh, really got to set the tone next week, make sure to drive in those points to try and uh, get myself high up on the leaderboard. Um, and uh, I am excited, though. It's been a very long season, and it's been very enjoyable as well. Um, can't wait for postseason, uh, hopefully make playoffs. And as for the rest of my players on other teams, too, very excited for playoffs. Hey, we've been bombarding you, and yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, it's not ending for me, at least. Well, mm -hmm. last question of course. for me. As a fellow, like, newer team on the scene, how mm -hmm. does it feel to get your chance to really represent your game, show your stuff, and show, like, what a competitive player, someone who takes the game serious, is capable of on the big screen? Um, it's amazing. It, it always is amazing. I love uh, trying to put on a show, um, and... It's, it's so much more uh, uplifting to know you've got people out there watching, cheering for you, um, that you've got even out in the Nexus here watching it on the big screen, you know, get those uh, crazy reactions. Uh, it's just, it's incredible. It's always fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, final question for me okay. there for you there, uh, Jay Sauce. Um, moving forward, I don't know much about the league, but are you able to switch up teams? Are you able to play Absolutely. one team? No, I, I definitely can, and it's it's something big I considered because um, obviously player ratings are changing every yeah, week. Yeah, of course, and the week-to-week the -week thing, um, mm -hmm. like – for a team like Denver, like Denver's just been looking not great this year, yeah. right? So you want to pick teams that have been doing great thus far in the season. I was wondering, just as a curiosity, would you consider playing a team like the Clippers? Mm. <laughs> um, I would, except uh, to my current knowledge, Kawhi is 
yeah. hurt right now, so that means he's out of the game as well. True. Which is something I kind of suffered from with uh, my team as well today, but um, not the Clippers. I'd say, if anything, okay. backup team is uh, – Boston Celtics. Ooh. Boston. Boston. What about never Phoenix? Bad choice. Is Phoenix Ooh. an option? Can't you know? Can't deny that KD Booker. They are great picks as well. Um, but I don't know. I think Boston just Boston. a little bit, a little bit closer to my game style. Fair, oh. fair. All right, awesome. That's going to be it for us today. Thank you for joining us. Joining us. Thank you for putting on a show for us today. You got to give yes. the deal. Oh, thank shake. you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you. Thank, thank you for, thank you for putting on a great chance, performance. Yeah. But that's going to be it for us today. You can see we have four people at the desk. Not often this happens. <laughs> so, it. you know, thank you to everyone in the back. You know, Owen, Gabriel, everyone who made this happen. Thank Shout you guys very much. Shout out to Ricky. Yeah, we got De uh, Ricky on yeah. the cast. You know, a varsity League of Legends player. Not often he gets an opportunity like this. <laughs> yeah. True. It was an absolute blast. Thank you to our sponsors. We have Alienware, Subway, Tim Hortons, St. Clair SSC, St. Clair Alumni Association. Follow our socials to not miss anything and stay up to date for all Saints-related content. Me and Daniil are going to be saying thank you guys for watching. Have a good night, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow.